Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Kill People and You Become Stronger. Chapter 61. Flight is a Longing Dream for Others. From this, humans created airplanes. Bai Xiao's requirements for flight are not generally high. He needs flight that can solve one of his last two shortcomings, air combat ability. When fighting the blood god Dickon, Bai Xiao used the most rational method, using a mind storm and a mind bomb to prevent the blood god from using blood magic. Secondly, he used high intensity pressure to beat the blood god so that he could not escape his attack directly. Range, flight ability cannot be used. After all, once the blood god flies up, if the opponent wants to run away, it will be very difficult for Bai Xiao to intercept him. If he had flight ability, the outcome could be completely different. He can play with the blood god unscrupulously. In addition, the flight that Bai Xiao wants should ideally be able to travel through the universe and travel across the planet like Captain Marvel. Definitely those are things for later. First, he experimented with his first attainable flight test. It was with his psychic power that he was now not inferior to Charles that he transformed into psychokinesis to surround and cover his body, forming a spindle shape around his body to minimize wind resistance. Gradually, he began to float slowly, pulling his body into the air through the psychokinesis form, 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters, 500 meters, 3000 meters, tens of thousands of meters. Looking down at the shrinking ground below from high in the sky. Psychokinesis can control matter, including the human body, as is Bai Xiao's body. With a thought, Bai Xiao's body disappeared in an instant at an altitude of 10,000 meters, and he flew rapidly towards the distance. The speed was very fast. The fusiform protective film built by psychokinesis on the outer layer of the body minimized wind resistance and allowed his speed to continue to increase. He circled flight 30 kilometers in the sky. But in the end it slowly floated to the original lake. The toes landed lightly on the ground. The black sweater, pants and shoes he was wearing were not even damaged by the high-speed flight. Too slow. Standing by the lake, Bai Xiao frowned. He was not satisfied with the psychokinesis mode flight mode just now. It was flying, but the flight speed disappointed him. He is very strong in psychokinesis, he can easily control dozens of tons of weight with psychokinesis, beef. But the density of his body exceeds that of steel. Although it is not exhausting to pull his body flight, the speed cannot be increased. To put it simply, he can fly very fast, at least reaching subsonic or even sonic speeds, but his brain's transmission of information is too slow, which is ridiculously slow for someone who is about to reach level sub-godfather. In terms of flight speed, he is not as good as Thor Thor at this stage. Although the latter has the bonus of Meow Hammer's magical power, it is still a fatal weakness for Bai Xiao. And this is just flight, which is far less flexible. So flight in the form of psychokinesis was temporarily stranded, or maybe it could be developed in another way. Randomly, he turned his direction to magic. Magic is a form of energy, which immediately reminded Bai Xiao of Captain Marvel Carol. Her flight ability is as fast as the speed of light, and she can even move faster than light when she turns on the binary star form. Definitely how the other party did it, Bai Xiao didn't know, at least there was a direction. The key point may also be magic power. As for how to use magic to achieve the effect of flight, the amount of engineering required was huge. Bai Xiao gradually began to try it by the lake. The most original idea was to create a pair of Yuli flight with magic behind it. During the flight, by changing the shape of the wings and building a similar jet port, the power is increased through the release of jet magic. The speed has indeed increased, but it still cannot change the flexibility in the air. After two days, the development of flight was temporarily put on hold. In the future, Bai Xiao will focus on magic power, and magic power development is the foundation of everything. As for the flight skill that was not fully activated, Bai Xiao was not discouraged. He had enough time to activate this ability, and he thought it would be okay if he could fly. He used a compressed magic beam on the ground to pass it, but if it didn't work, he used the prince's tactics, making the enemy unable to fly even if they want to fly, this is definitely just a joke. The development process of magic and the development of flight is a very interesting process for Bai Xiao, and it is not boring, because the joy of developing the result he wants, that moment brings more than anything else. In the remaining time, he 
he returned to his apartment in Queens, and then returned to the lake to develop and use magic power. A month passed so quietly. Until a phone call interrupted his life alone. His order has been completed. During the day, Bai Xiao drove to Xavier Youth Mutant College. The college during the day was a different kind of scenery. As soon as he arrived at the college, Storm dropped off the caboose and was waiting. I have to say that the beauty with white hair and black hair is indeed beautiful and has a good figure, which makes people feel relaxed and happy. Bai Xiao got off the car and Storm came over. Mr. John, welcome to the academy again. Thanks. Please follow me, Hank is making final adjustments to the second generation fighter aircraft. Storm said gently, and then took Bai Xiao to the large lawn square where the second generation Blackbird was broadcast. As soon as I arrived at Lawn Square, I saw a Blackbird fighter jet parked there quietly. The graceful streamlined fuselage and black coating are deeply eye-catching, and Bai Xiao is no exception. After all, men long to own a fighter jet of their own. That is a dream. Storm and Bai Xiao walked in through the metal steps that opened the cabin and came to the cab. They saw Beast Hank, who was wearing a sweater and glasses, doing some debugging. With a serious expression on his face, he didn't even notice the arrival of the two people. After everything was adjusted, Hank breathed a sigh of relief and then noticed Storm and Bai Xiao who had already arrived behind him. Congratulations, you have your own private jet, Mr. John. Hank is also very satisfied with the second generation fighter jet he built, and he speaks with ease and happiness. Thank you, can I try? Definitely, but you have to familiarize yourself with the control devices here first. The operation of this advanced fighter aircraft is not difficult, even relatively simple. Hank and Bai Xiao are familiar with all the equipment and buttons in the aircraft. At the moment 2000 is about to arrive in the new year, but the technological technology of this era is not particularly developed. That is to say, after 2005, the level of science and technology will increase explosively with each passing year. This is the beginning of the era, just like an invisible hand playing with the strings of Earth's technology. Hank is one of the best geniuses on the planet. The Blackbird fighter jet he built himself is the absolute best in terms of technology and operational level, not to mention how many years ahead of the current Earth. Especially without considering the equipment of offensive weapons and equipment, Hank tilted his skill points in other directions, focusing on speed, practicality, concealment and safety. It is worth mentioning that Hank is also one of the few people who can put the vertical takeoff and landing turbojet engine to practical use at this stage. There is no need to start, you can directly take off vertically, and the vertical takeoff speed is very fast. Bai Xiao knows that the only ones that can apply vertical takeoff and landing systems to fighter planes are Shield and Wakanda. The latter systems are definitely not uncommon on Earth. Bai Xiao's memory and thinking can be regarded as a super brain. His memory and learning speed have long been inhuman. But after Hank, taught Bai Xiao how to operate and use all the functions, the second time he got started, he was no longer the same as Hank, a veteran. The difference. All that's left is to fly boldly and soar in the sky. What posture to use is Bai Xiao's question. Bai Xiao was very satisfied with Hank's gift, so he made a phone call on the spot to transfer the remaining money, and then flew the plane and left Mutant Academy. While the plane was flying in the air, May enjoyed the feeling of a pilot controlling the plane soaring in the air for the first time. Anyway, it was a bit fresh at first, but compared to my own flight, it still tasted worse. But the performance of this aircraft is indeed very good. The highest flight altitude has reached the limit of 30,000 meters, and the fastest flight speed has reached Mach 3.5, which is much faster than his own psychokinesis flight. It can completely fly to any place on the Earth within 5 hours. And Hank has made greater optimizations for the aircraft's fuel tank. Originally, the X-Men's flight machine is different from the fighter jet in that it does not need to be equipped with a weapon system, resulting in other available space. The fuel tank is the most important part. The fuel tank is larger than that of other current fighter jets, which means it has a long endurance. It will not run out of fuel while flying. With the contact information given by Hank, there are private airports at various locations in the world where you can refuel, and the endurance is long. Bai Xiao can completely ignore the problem here. Now that we have this airplane, but there is no place to put it, why don't we buy a manor first? It can only be said that the plan could not keep up with the changes. 
Although he had plans to purchase fighter planes with Charles, he thought that it would take a year to build the plane with only Hank. After the aircraft is delivered, he will build a manor, but Hank is really honest and delivers the new model of the aircraft to him for his own use. He is indeed an honest party B. There was no room for the plane in the courtyard of his small apartment. There is a small problem. This plane has almost wiped out his assets, and he is ready to find a new enemy to have a good exchange with him. Bai Xiao feels that the piggy bank that he has been keeping has become useful. In the evening, in a luxurious villa in Manhattan, Kingpin was wearing a large nightgown in the room and looked at the little guy on the crib spitting bubbles, and his slightly ferocious face became gentle. On the side, Kingpin's wife Vanessa looked at her husband and son tenderly, feeling that now was the happiest moment in the world. Be careful not to wake him up, or you won't be able to sleep tonight. Vanessa reminded. But Jin Bin shook his head indifferently, lowered his head and kissed the baby's forehead gently, so gently that the sleeping baby was not awakened. I will only feel happy and not bored. He is the gift you gave me. I will cherish him throughout my life. Kingpin turned his head and hugged his wife Vanessa and kissed her. This gang leader, who is famous in the underworld circle, showed his unique gentle and considerate side. With a smile on her lips, Vanessa pushed her husband, he is our gift to ourselves. Looking at his coquettish wife, Kingpin burst out laughing. He was about to admit that he had said something wrong, but he did not expect that the child was awakened by his laughter and immediately started crying. Let you be careful. Vanessa scolded her husband, quickly stepped forward to pick up her son, and coaxed her son gently, while Kingpin stood aside and watched. Suddenly there was a knock on the door from the maid. Go, honey, leave this to me. Vanessa was very considerate, which made Kingpin kiss his wife on the cheek and walk out of the door. Sir, look at your phone. The maid said respectfully. Kingpin nodded and went to the living room. There were not many people who could call him at this time, and because of the birth of his son, he rarely put the phone in the room, fearing that the sound of the phone would scare the child. Point zero zero. Walking to the luxurious and spacious living room, he picked up the phone, and it turned out to be his right-hand man. Picking up the phone, she pointed to the maid at the bar in the living room. The maid was very discerning and came to the bar to pour a glass of wine for Kingpin. Kingpin came to the balcony with a thick-bottomed wine glass. His mansion was located in on the 13th floor of a luxury apartment building, the balcony overlooks the night view of Manhattan below. While shaking the glass and drinking, Kingpin chatted with his assistant James Wesley about business matters. The conversation lasted for about half an hour before the two hung up the communication. Kingpin looked at the lane of traffic below. Manhattan intertwined in darkness and dim light. Kingpin drank his last sip of wine before turning and leaving the balcony. However, when he just stepped into the living room, his steps suddenly stopped, his eyes suddenly burst into a terrifying coldness, and a fierce aura belonging to the largest underground gang leader slowly filled the entire living room. Because right in front of the living room, a man wearing a black coat, sweater, and round hat took the wine glass from the maid and raised the glass to signal to Jin Bin. This was a very handsome Asian kid, a person he had never seen before, who actually appeared in his home without him noticing. I don't care who you are. Get out of my house now, otherwise, I will let you know what the cruelest punishment in the world is. Kingpin glanced at the maid who was standing respectfully aside, with a hint of ferocity and confusion in her eyes. This maid had served his family for three full years, and was very obedient, sensible, and discerning, but now. Could it be a spy planted next to him? It seems that you have forgotten a painful memory you once had. Maybe I think I should help you recall this memory, Mr. Fisk. The boy smiled brightly. Boom. The next moment, the luxurious living room in front of Jin Bin suddenly changed and rotated, and the world instantly turned dark. This familiar scene immediately awakened him to the memory of the shame and fear of, 107. Sure enough, a pair of huge amounts of eyes appeared in the pitch black sky, cold and ruthless. It's as if God's eyes look down on all living things. It's you. Dot the butcher. Kingpin roared angrily, and the fierce and ferocious aura swept across all directions. He wanted to use this method to dispel the hidden fear deep in his heart. Um. In his ears, a slightly surprised voice came, and then the dark world suddenly shook wildly and violently, as if the sky was falling and everything around him was collapsing. 
The most terrifying thing for Jin Bin was that he felt that the world was falling. Chaos, confusion, intense and bone-chilling pain struck. It was a bit unbearable for a man like Kingpin whose willpower was as strong as steel. In a daze, he seemed to be in the wildly turbulent sea, with its monstrous waves, raging storms, terrifying thunder, rain and strong winds. He struggled helplessly in the surging waves, but facing this god-like power, Jin Bin had no ability to struggle at all. He could only drift with the tide and was pushed into the sea by waves. He struggled with all his strength and returned to the sea. It reached sea level, but was overturned again by a big wave. Going back and forth, while struggling hard, he seemed to hear two voices. Very powerful psychic power. He also used my trap to create a new trap. What an incredible power. I originally thought that only another old guy in this world could possess this kind of psychic power, but I didn't expect that another telepathy was born. I'm very interested in you, boy. Tell me, what will you do after I find you? Perhaps I will entertain you with the grandest dinner, sweet boy. During the subsequent struggle, Jin Bin only vaguely heard a few intermittent words like, guess, identity, queen, punishment, and game. It was as if the two people had made a game agreement. Kingpin remembered these words, but in the end he was silent in the sea, losing all his strength. He could no longer struggle, and slowly became silent in the sea, darkness, depression, squeezing, the pain of the water eroding his lungs, suffocation, this the most painful way to die was that Kingpin almost lost consciousness. Until the last moment, Kingpin, who was about to die, suddenly gasped for breath, covered his chest and bent over and coughed violently, as if he wanted to vomit out all the contents in his stomach and lungs. However, he didn't spit anything out. After a while, Jin Bin's vague consciousness slowly woke up. He stood up straight and glanced around. It was still his home, the same living room that he was familiar with. In front of him was still the smiling Ya, tasting the wine. American boy. Kingpin stared at the boy, his thoughts a little confused. But he realized that the young kid in front of him was terrifying, so terrifying that he was unable to resist at all, just like he had been in a sea storm before, slowly suffocating in a desperate struggle. As expected of you, your willpower is much better than that of many people. If ordinary people faced such a scene, they would probably become crazy or brain dead. But you persisted. The boy gently placed the wine glass on the bar with a disgusted expression, obviously not liking this so-called fine wine. Jin didn't feel anything about the boy's praise, but after his chest that was constantly rising and falling gradually calmed down, he glanced in the direction of his wife and son's room, a trace of worry flashed in his eyes, but then he became firm, you can kill killed me, but they were innocent. I know your style, butcher, you are not a person who kills innocent people indiscriminately. Kingpin definitely knew that the handsome and sunny boy in front of him was a famous butcher in Queens and even the United States. He also knew very well about the butcher's style, and he did not like to leave his fate to a madman. But, now he has no choice. I'm not interested in them, and I'm not interested in you either. The boy was surprisingly easy to talk to, but his words were a bit harsh. I'm not interested in your wife, son, or you, the so-called gang leader. Quote. Then why are you looking for me? Not for revenge. Or to eliminate evil. Kingpin said in a low voice, but he recognized these words in his heart. In his heart, the butcher was a madman, a madman who worshipped Batman Robin, and he was a Batman who did his best to eliminate evil. But after controlling him to kill Bullseye with his own hands, and what happened today, Kingpin immediately realized in his heart. The person in front of him has never been different from the person he analyzed. He has his own purpose, and it is very clear. But what the purpose is, he doesn't know, and he doesn't need to know it. To delve into the secrets of a man with unimaginable power is tantamount to courting death. He just wants to protect his wife and son, and for this, he will sacrifice everything. Your guess is correct, but don't think too complicatedly. I found you because I am short of money. The boy said matter-of-factly. This statement made Kingpin immediately look shocked. Lack of money. Jin Bin never imagined that he had gone through so much and that the scene of his death was just because the other party was short of money. This made Kingpin feel a complex emotion immediately. Dumbfounded, angry, aggrieved, etc. You did so many things just because you were short of money, but just say it directly, I have plenty of money. 
Jin Bin definitely knew very well why the other party did this. Before today, Kingpin had always been malicious towards the butcher. A person who did not understand another powerful person would always show his stupid side, especially someone with hatred. Before today, Kingpin knew how powerful the opponent was, but he still believed that sooner or later he would be able to find a way to kill the opponent. That's kind of stupid. Torture and pain are undoubtedly the best ways to understand the strength of your opponent. This is definitely based on the premise that the opponent does not want to kill him. If you want to kill him, you don't need to weigh so much. Kingpin realized that the reason why he was alive was most likely to transfer funds to this boy, who was a humanoid cash machine. Was Kingpin angry when he realized this? Definitely angry, no one wants to be someone else's cash machine, but he has no way to refuse, otherwise he will die. Jin didn't want to die. He had a kind and beautiful wife, Vanessa, and the best gift his wife had given him, a son. Therefore, after a moment of anger, he calmed down. Thank you, sir. Kingpin even thanked the boy. The boy raised his brows. You are smarter and more rational than I thought. That's why I'm alive today. Okay, I'm not interested in what you do. I only value your money. This is your only value to me. This value allows me to allow you to live in this world. The boy said very bluntly. Bai is also very cold. Kingpin nodded silently. This is the cruelty of this world. He became the ruler of Hell's Kitchen in a brutal way. He controlled the lives of countless people and could arbitrarily deprive them of their lives. In turn, he was arbitrarily oppressed by the man in front of him. What's interesting is that this is the rule of the game, the strong take all, the weak can only be bullied, or become the strong, overthrow the strong and rise to power, becoming the new evil dragon. Jin was not unwilling to accept the fact that he was within the rules of the game. In fact, after having a wife and children, he had the idea of quitting. He wanted to live a peaceful life, but now it seems that his idea cannot be realized. He needs a lot of money to maintain his value. Otherwise, Jin didn't know if the boy would kill him when he was no longer of use. What Jin definitely didn't know was that this idea of his had changed his destiny and reversed the things that had originally caused him a lifetime of pain. How much money do you need? I need a manor, and a sum of money to maintain the operation and maintenance of the manor. I will solve it for you within three days. Then I won't disturb your happy moment, Mr. Fix. Goodbye. As soon as the words fell, Jin Bin's eyes blurred, and he saw that the person in front of him had disappeared. At this time, he breathed a sigh of relief, picked up the phone in his hand and called his good assistant James Wesley. James, help me find a manor with a good location and prepare another 100 million US dollars. I need to transfer it to another account. At the same time, in the hall of the Union House of Representatives in Moscow, Russia, in the gorgeous ballroom, accompanied by orchestral music, girls in brightly dressed and gorgeous clothes danced on the dance floor under the guidance of their male partners. Here are the top Russian aristocrats and their sons and daughters gathered here. The origins of the girls who attend the ball every year are not simple. They are the daughters of oil tycoons, financial giants, government leaders, famous artists and other well-known tycoons. It can be called a golden branch. In addition, the ball also attracts Russian elites. They all want to show their charm through the ball, get to know these girls, and reach the top of their lives. In this adult ceremony dance, the girls wore stunning fashions and luxurious jewelry to show off their wealth. These rich ladies wore necklaces, bracelets and earrings set with a large number of diamonds and colored gemstones, making their appearance at the party even more stunning. On the second floor of the banquet hall, a beautifully dressed blonde woman sat on a chair, holding champagne and silently looking at the crowd below. She has white skin, a beautiful face, and her obvious classic American facial features, which makes her seem a little out of place for this party but no one will care, because she has no wealth or apparent identity. To be able to occupy a place here. Her name is Emma. Frost. Absolutely no one knows her other identity, she is also a mutant, and she is actually one of the only two strongest telepaths, who can rival Charles, the strongest telepath in the world. But Emma, one of the strongest telepathy writers, silently sipped champagne with a smile in her beautiful eyes. Her expression and eyes revealed a message. She developed a strong interest in a certain person, and she was willing to do so just because she came into contact with another telepath, 
800, a boy who was not very old, but was comparable to and even seemed to be stronger than her now. Some time ago, a guide from Hell's Kitchen contacted her, mainly because he had business dealings with her club. The trading partner asked for help, saying it was a spiritual problem. She personally tried to help her partner solve the problem, but she almost overturned. She had just entered the spiritual world of the fat guy named Kingpin. If she hadn't been cautious enough, she almost the spiritual trap was triggered. She was so frightened that she broke into a cold sweat when she saw the hidden psychic storm and bombs. With such a trick, at the time she almost thought it was the old guy from mutant school who was trying to trick her, but later she learned from Jin Bin that it was a guy named. When she became interested, she enthusiastically and cunningly created an illusory spiritual world and trap outside Jin Bin's spiritual world, waiting for the other party to take the bait. As for Kingpin's life and death, she doesn't care at all. The other party doesn't know anyway, so what if he knows? Just now, the trap she compiled was discovered, and the other party reacted quickly and immediately broke the trap. The two people's spiritual powers met in Fatty Jin's spiritual world. No matter when and where, the battle on the spiritual level is the most dangerous. It is no less than a life and death fight. In battles on the spiritual level, as long as the damage is damaged, it is very difficult to recover. And once defeated, it is not just a matter of death. Death is just a luxury. It is not only the memory that is read, but also the entire body. Everyone will be manipulated by the other party and become a walking zombie. Especially for a beauty of her level, the end can be imagined. Emma has always believed that the only person in the world who is spiritually more powerful than herself is Charles, and that old guy is indeed the strongest telepath on the planet. Emma has been keeping a low profile and secretly operating in these years, just because she doesn't want to confront the old man, who will be easily defeated. But other than that, she is the strongest. However, a confrontation in Jinji's spiritual world shattered her idea. She suddenly discovered that a terrifying telepathy had popped up out of nowhere. Looking back at the details of the confrontation, we can only tell half of the opponent's use of the mind, which is relatively rough. But it's very simple and crude, it's either a psychic storm or a bomb, it's just a self-destructive attitude. What shocked Emma the most was that the other party's psychic power was so powerful that Emma thought it might be comparable to, or even surpass, Charles. Even because of the distance limit of 7,500 kilometers, there are some reasons why she cannot fully exert her psychic power. But she knew very well that the other party was better than herself. This couldn't help but frighten Emma. Fortunately, she was cautious enough to retreat in time, and the other party didn't have much malicious intent, so she was safe and sound. Otherwise, she might have suffered a lot. Emma is now like a cat who sees something new, curious and scared at the same time. She wanted to touch the other person, but she was afraid of being swallowed by him. So Emma plans to test the other party, but she must be prepared in advance. It is best to be careful at this time. Let's play this game of cat and mouse, boy. Emma laughed out loud. Her identity was definitely that of a mouse, but who said cats can definitely catch mice. Cunning mice can sometimes completely fool cats. At this time, not far away, a handsome Russian aristocratic man came over carrying champagne. But with one look from Emma, the man simply ignored her and left. I have no interest in attending your banquets now. After Emma finished drinking the champagne, she put down her wine glass and stood up and left the hall step by step with graceful steps. Everyone present was unaware of it and was immersed in the dance. Emma walked out of the hall and got into the back seat of a luxury car. Go to the club. Kingpin acted quickly. In three days, he spent 45 million US dollars to purchase a manor on Long Island. Long Island is a long and narrow island southeast of New York City on the east coast of the United States. The widest distance between the north and south banks is about 30 kilometers. It is about 190 kilometers long from east to west. It takes more than two hours of highway driving from the town of Great Neck in the west to the Sea View Resort of Montauk in the east. Changdao has excellent natural conditions, facing the sea on three sides, and the scenery is very beautiful, with fine sandy beaches lapped by clear water, towering and eye-catching coastal lighthouses, famous wineries, quaint historical towns, world-famous castles and mansions, and classic British gardens. Member. This manor is called Swan Manor. 
built by a very famous construction company, with an indoor area of approximately 2,100 square meters and an area of 2.4 hectares, this unparalleled stone and brick building embodies the essence of strategic architecture and design, aiming to highlight the highest level of noble and luxurious living. Located on the oceanfront on Long Island's north shore, the estate has 13 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, with ample living space for entertaining large guests. With boxwood on both sides, Italian Tuscan style columns, and a long stone driveway, you will be transported to an elegant and noble home. The grand foyer entrance features high cross floor ceilings, a grand staircase with tall curved windows and a compass rose floor, leading to a spacious reception area. The living room on one side includes a built-in cocktail area, large columns, coffered ceilings, and curved windows with panoramic views of Manhasset Bay. Impeccable fine carpentry and beautiful wainscoting, two dens facing each other. The house has custom English oak paneling, while, his, has dark mahogany. Both feature antique fireplaces, the former in 18th century Louis XVI style limestone and the other in 19th century French marble. The formal dining room features an imported 19th century fireplace, antique wall fixtures, crystal chandelier, custom-shaped French doors, and opens to a long stone terrace with garden and ocean views. The octagonal breakfast room is designed as an indoor and outdoor space, with a large stained glass window and five sets of French doors that flood the entire restaurant with natural light. One of the circular ante-rooms leads you directly into the 3.65-meter-high master bedroom, which features a stone fireplace, unobstructed ocean views, a private sitting room and his and her ensuite bathrooms. In addition, there is a swimming pool. The outdoor swimming pool is built with slate tiles and is adjacent to the indoor swimming pool. The swimming pool is surrounded by a circular roof and a spacious bluestone terrace. Outdoor facilities include seaside tennis courts, English-style gardens that change forever with the seasons, greenhouses, romantic water lily ponds, wooden swan sculptures, private deep water piers, and a wide beach whose sand is all imported from the east end of Long Island. Despite the grandeur of the exterior and interior, the house exudes a very comfortable and livable feel. The manor is a true work of art from the ground up integrating the rich American architectural features of the late 1800s with today's modern elements. Swan Manor is undoubtedly a building of unparalleled beauty. In this era, there is no doubt that such a manor is a luxurious residence that can only be owned by the top rich. In addition, the manor also has professional maids specially hired from the maid union, senior housekeepers from the housekeeper union, security guards, chefs, etc. The money spent on these series is not only 45 million US dollars. The maintenance and so on that need to be spent every year in the future will be a lot of money. Bai Xiao didn't care at all. There was a big cow named Jinpin behind him, and he didn't need to pay for the money. What made Bai Xiao even more satisfied was that Jinpin decisively transferred 100 million US dollars to him. Spending this money is considered to be a huge loss of cash, but this is his personal money, such as other businesses, and gangster income also takes time and requires a large amount of US dollars to support it. Even though he was distressed, Jin Bing decisively took out the money. The manor was bought in the name of Bai Xiao, so there was no need to sign any transfer agreement. Until last night, Jin Bin had not come to see Bai Xiao. He was also afraid of seeing Bai Xiao's heart twitching. How much money had been accumulated over the years, and he had made 160 million US dollars in one fell swoop, and his wallet was shrinking, day and a half. Fortunately, I got by Xiao's promise in exchange. There should be no shortage of money in recent years. After all, there are no other unnecessary expenses, so the next time I think about gold and this piggy bank may be a few years away. Jin Bin was not happy about this. He always felt that no matter how hard he struggled, he had to be in the shadow of Bai Xiao. The hard-earned money he had earned might one day be emptied by Bai Xiao. It's sad to think about it, because he didn't want to live a miserable life, so he embarked on this path. He took over the role of a gangster and became an entrepreneur, but he didn't expect to have to live in pain. So, didn't he become a gangster for nothing? If it were in the past, Jin Pengpeng would definitely not be willing to give in. He might not dare to resist openly, but secretly he would definitely try his best to either kill Bai Xiao, find a way to escape, or simply stop everyone from living. 
Even if you die, you have to have a backup. It's different now. Jin Bin has his own wife, children, and a happy family. He even had the idea of retiring before. It is conceivable that the gentle countryside has corroded his heroic heart. For a mysterious and powerful person like Bai Xiao, Jin Bin would not think about or do such a risky thing. You can work honestly. Think about it, except for the butcher above him, below him he is still the king of hell's kitchen, the underworld leader who makes countless people fear him. Jin Bing could only comfort himself in this way, but he also aroused another violent mentality. I was bleeding heavily for no reason, and he had to find a way to get the money back. With the help of his right-hand man James Wesley on the business side, he decided to start with other gangs. He wanted to seize more territory and do more business. Anyway, Bai Xiao promised him that whatever he did, the other gang would not care. Definitely what organ, human trafficking industry is not touched by money. Jin Bing still had a firm hand. Even if Bai Xiao didn't warn him, he was still afraid that one day the other party would suddenly catch him doing this business and kill him impulsively. What should he do? Who knows what the kid in this grade thinks? The kid in adolescence also thinks about it all the time. Scared. Jin Bing felt that since he wanted to be safe, he might as well stay safe to the end. Anyway, these two industries did not account for the majority of the income he brought to him, so it was unnecessary to pay back. Bai Xiao didn't know Jin Bing's thoughts. If he had known, he would have lamented that Jin Pangpang had changed and was no longer the underworld emperor he knew. He also thought about the relationship with the other party's wife Vanessa and son. This is okay, it saved his family on the side. Kingpin is the leader of one of the largest gangs in the underworld. When he steps on this road, he is destined not to show any cowardice. If he wants to live a normal life, then it is sending a signal to the outside world. He became weak and turned from a majestic lion into a sick cat. A majestic male lion will make other male lions who are eyeing his territory afraid to act rashly, but if it is just a sick cat, then what is waiting is a greedy and restrained lion surrounded by ten. They are broken. If Kingpin is still the same lion, or even becomes more ferocious, greedy, and violent, with his ability and character, he will only make other gang forces dormant, fearful, or destroyed. It means spending money to change your life. Bai Xiao was not sure whether Defiant had truly changed his life, but he had a hunch that Kingpin would be more terrifying than he realized, even without Bullseye. This premonition is not strong, but Bai Xiao is vaguely aware that this may be one of the abilities derived from him becoming stronger. After all, Heavenly Father basically has this skill of predicting the future. Even people who are not Heavenly Father have it, so there is no reason why he doesn't have it. If it goes as he predicted, might it not be the street heroes like Daredevil, the Defenders and Spider-Man who are unlucky? A scam in disguise. Bai Xiao had a dark thought. He was quite looking forward to the defeat of those street heroes. That must be very interesting. With the addition of another manner, Bai Xiao naturally moved Li Wang Zhao into it. Although his current requirements for the quality of life and environment are not too high, since he has it, he can definitely enjoy it with peace of mind. This is his hard work. The result of struggle. Hard work will never disappoint, which strengthens Bai Xiao's pursuit of becoming stronger. As for the apartment in Queens, it has been put on hold for the time being, but he commissioned a service company and signed a contract. The one-year contract allows him to go to the apartment to clean and tidy up once a week. Life in the manor is very luxurious and can only be described as enjoyment. The only drawback is still the lack of a hostess. In addition, he also gave spiritual hints to other people in the manor. After all, there was such a large and bright blackbird fighter jet parked on the lawn of the manor, anyone who was not blind could see it. Also to avoid unnecessary trouble. He stayed at the manor until Christmas. Christmas is the most traditional day in the United States. Bai Xiao did not have the concept of Christmas, so naturally he had no idea about Christmas. Have requests. He was wearing a white sweater, drinking hot coffee and sitting on a chair in the pavilion by the pond in the manor. There was a laptop on the table in front of him, and he was flipping through something. The internet is a good thing. You can find a lot of unknown news from all over the world on it. Many people like to share a lot of daily or incredible things on social media, that is, blogs. Bai Xiao, on the other hand, likes to read the latter specifically, 
because he knows very well that these incredible things that have happened may bring him into contact with new prey. It's just that many of them are fabricated or just misunderstandings. Bai Xiao needs to confirm for himself whether they are true or not. Now he has super perception ability, which is comparable to or even surpasses Professor X's psychic power, allowing him to cover the entire United States and even some surrounding countries. He will not explore other people's memories and privacy, but he can locate and detect whether there is any unusual power in the place. During the days he stayed at the manor, he screened some, but the results were not good and he returned without success. Bai Xiao is not discouraged. He really cannot return to the path of a vampire hunter. Anyway, there are a lot of vampires in the United States. His vampire experience has been reduced a lot for him now, but the number is enough. During this period of time, he mainly wanted to relax and rest. The more important reason is that he set his sights on a higher level life form than a vampire, the devil. Are there demons on the earth? There definitely are. The Ancient One signed a contract with the Lord of Hell Mephisto. The magicians of the Magician Holy Place will also monitor the earth and secretly deal with those creatures from other dimensions that appear on the earth. However, there will still be demons under strict surveillance. Loopholes. Demons will smuggle themselves to the earth in various ways, including seeking death on earth. Many people will look for Black Magic 463 in some records out of yearning or curiosity, and want to try to see if they can really summon demons by summoning magic. This also happened to give the devils a chance. Even if the devil cannot come in person, he can still build a bridge through these summoning magics, separate his consciousness or power to come, occupy the human body and capture the souls of these dead men through hunting. The human soul is nothing more than a delicious meal to the demons, completely belonging to the food chain. The stowaway demons will lie low and make trouble quietly to avoid being noticed by the magicians of the magician holy place. Its hidden ability is also a specialty of demons. This is ability, and it is also a direction of evolution over countless years. These demons are also the new targets Bai Xiao is looking for. The main reason is that there are a lot of vampires in the world, and they are renewable resources, but they have already reached the peak increase. He took action and wanted to refresh it again, but he would have to wait. Therefore, demons, new monsters with a high enough life level and an astonishing number, are Bai Xiao's favorite. Um. While Bai Xiao was patiently browsing, suddenly five students' selfies and text descriptions aroused his interest. These students were three boys and one girl. These students plan to go to a cabin called Buckner tomorrow for a vacation. But this is not the point. The point is that when he saw these five students in this description, a picture suddenly flashed in his mind. A huge arm flowing with lava penetrated a hut and slammed to the ground from deep underground. Several other scenes flashed, showing five students being chased by a group of monsters. An altar was surrounded by five stones, with five male and female humanoid patterns carved on them. There was also a man in a women's suit who was talking to two of the students. This sudden flashback made Bai Xiao raise his eyebrows. The corner of his mouth curled up involuntarily. Is this a fragment of a scene that is about to happen in the future? It seems that I have initially activated some kind of precognition ability, but it seems to be a passive skill. If it wants to become an active skill, it should still need to grow. After reaching level Godfather, you may be able to see through the flow of time like Odin. He was not interested in these five students. What he cared about was the huge arm that penetrated the ground from the ground. He could feel the terrifying aura on that arm. Apparently similar to some kind of evil being. What is this? Isn't this a new copy? A new boss? What he saw at the moment on his laptop were five students taking selfies. What he saw was a large mass of life essence. B-I-F-H, let me see where you are. Bai Xiao started typing on the laptop keyboard with both hands. As a man with first-class hacking skills, it is not difficult to locate the address of the poster on the blog, and it is even very simple. A place called Erie in northern Ohio. Buckner, who wrote on the blog, searched through the map location and found that it was a mountainous area about 20 kilometers outside the town. It seems that Christmas gave me a big surprise this year. Bai Xiao looked at the slightly blurry pattern on the laptop, picked up the coffee and took a sip. Finding a new boss made him feel extremely happy. Sure enough, the internet is where miracles happen, and patience can reap rewards. 
Located in Ohio, it doesn't take long to get there in a Blackbird too. Bai Xiao gently closed the computer and looked at the heavy snow falling outside the pavilion. The snow covered the manor. The snow scene in the manor was also very beautiful. The housekeeper at home was notifying the employees of the cleaning company who were clearing the heavy snow on the road in the manor. There is a housekeeper, so there is no need to worry about the trivial matters of the manor. Even because Bai Xiao is an oriental, he even found a few chefs from Chinatown who know various regional cuisines, so that he can enjoy the meal. He wants to eat hot pot today. It's not too fragrant to eat hot pot on a snowy day. In the small town of Erie, Ohio, in the afternoon, five young students were wearing sweaters, hooded down jackets, and several large suitcases. Wow, today's weather is much better than I thought. A handsome man with short blonde hair, wearing a blue hooded down jacket, walked to a RV with a box in his hand. I just hope the snow on Helms Road doesn't cause us too much trouble, Kurt. The beautiful blonde girl next to her rolled her eyes and said something, then walked around the suitcase and walked up to Fang Jun. Ha, don't worry, my dear Julie, I had thought of it a long time ago, so I specially put on snow tires. The blonde man said with a smile, and followed closely behind. The other three students looked at each other and then got into the RV. The RV is very spacious, with enough space inside to accommodate five students and looks very spacious. Everyone chatted happily, and their youthful energy made them cheer and chatter in the car. The further we drove, the closer we got to the mountains, the more splendid the snow scenery became, and the surrounding area was completely white. However, surprisingly, the road did not cause any trouble due to the snow, as if someone had specially cleaned it. Although everyone was a little surprised, they didn't think too much. After all, someone might have gone up the mountain to clean it up. They had a premonition that the originally troublesome snow road had been cleared, which made everyone feel that this might be a good omen, so they felt more cheerful and drove all the way. Due to the geographical location of the mountains, they needed to go up the mountain. On the way up the mountain, passing by a gas station. This made a few people even happier. The boss of the gas station seemed a little weird and said some weird words, but it still didn't affect the good mood of the five people. After filling up the tank, we set foot on the helmsman's road. We also encountered a very high cliff cave. We climbed all the way to the top of the mountain on the cliff edge. The RV stopped in front of a cabin in the woods on the top of the mountain. Come down. Woohoo. Kurt opened the car door, looked at the snow-covered cabin in the forest, and couldn't help but roared with excitement. The rest of the people also got out of the car and nodded with satisfaction. The hut didn't seem big, but the surrounding environment was very good. The mountains and forests were covered with heavy snow. They also went to find a large lake in the distance. The snow scene in winter always makes people feel excited. Everyone even laughed and had a snowball fight for this reason. After playing around for a while, they answered the RV, took down the suitcases, toolboxes and other things and put them in the cabin. Kurt looked at the interior of the house. Although it was not very clean, it had a retro sense of the times, but it looked like it should be cleaned regularly. Kurt's cousin introduced the exclusive cabin here, saying that people would come here every year. Vacation here. It is for this reason that the place does not look particularly deserted. Kurt took the initiative and said, Okay, we have to clear the surrounding snow first, and the heavy snow on the roof also needs to be removed. Holden and I will find a ladder to go up to the roof to clear the snow. You go cut down some trees around and collect some firewood. Light up the fireplace, I don't want to wait until the night cools down to pile into the RV. The task assigned by Kurt made no sense to everyone, so they immediately started to take action. Since the tool belts, telescopic ladders, axes and saws were all available, the matter was solved quickly. It took about 20 minutes in total. By the time Kurt came down from the roof, firewood had been lit in the fireplace, the warmth dispelling the coldness in the room, and a kettle was placed on the stove in the center of the living room to make a cup of coffee. There is still light snow ridden outside, and there is a fireplace inside, boiling water and making coffee. Everyone moved the sofa over, gathered around the stove, and sat on the sofa with hot coffee. They took off their down jackets and only wore sweaters. Everyone was still chatting happily. However, Kurt and others didn't know. Just a thousand meters away from the hut, a group of people also wearing down jackets were silently watching the hut. 
Let our people block the way back and not allow anyone to enter or exit. Tonight is the time to prepare for the summoning ceremony. The leading woman, wearing a down jacket and a down hat, stared at the cabin in front and said softly, while the people behind her nodded. Yes. After saying that, they immediately dispersed. The great day was coming and they needed to make up for all the loopholes. Don't blame me, children, your sacrifices will create a greater future, and the world will change because of you. The woman said softly and differently, excitement and expectation flashed in her eyes. It seemed that she thought that when the great ancient god came tonight, she would gain eternal life and power that humans could not imagine. She had been waiting for this day for a long time. But before she could calm down her excitement, a strange voice suddenly sounded in her ears. A good idea, but maybe your expectations will be disappointed. This is a very young male voice, clean and hearty, like sunshine, even if you don't see the owner of the voice, you can't help but feel good about it. But in her ears, it exploded like thunder, making her body tremble involuntarily. At this time, a stranger suddenly came behind her, which caught her off guard and she didn't expect it at all. She was shocked and angry and wanted to turn around, but then something happened that shocked her even more. She suddenly felt as if her body was not under her control, and she just stood there blankly. No matter how hard she tried, she couldn't even move a finger. You, the woman wanted to speak. The mysterious and unfamiliar man spoke again. Wow, the ancient god Sargras, the Titan Church, summoning rituals, sacrifices, do you still need sacrifices? Is it so troublesome? Is there a rough and easy way? Do you still need to wait until night to light up the summoning magic with blood and soul? The person who came was none other than Bai Shao. He walked up to the woman, and his spiritual power unbridledly invaded the memory of the woman next to him. This woman is called Sarah. She was once an occult researcher. Later, by chance, she discovered a very ancient and hidden book in the library. The ancient books had very mysterious words. No one knew what the words were. As an occult researcher, Sarah felt that the writing was very familiar, as if she had seen a type of Titan writing from an ancient record. She spent several years working tirelessly to translate all the written information in the books. In the end, it was discovered that the books contained the secret of an ancient god. This ancient god was a Titan creature, powerful and mysterious. The book also contained a method of communicating with and summoning the ancient god Sargeras. She hesitated for a long time, but finally she could not suppress her curiosity about ancient legends and the so-called old gods. She recited a spell through the communication method recorded in books, but she did not expect that it actually succeeded. At that moment, an ancient, mysterious, and majestic voice sounded in her ears. The result of the communication was simple. She became a believer. The old god gave her some power, eliminated the stubborn diseases in her body, and also gave her some knowledge. Through this power and knowledge, she created the Titan Church, attracted believers, and found a suitable sacrifice to prepare for summoning the Master Sargras. Finally, she found five suitable sacrifices, built an altar, made all the preliminary preparations, and was waiting for tonight. It requires a specific time, sacrifices under specific conditions, and a specific order of death. Only the combination of the three can successfully summon this so-called ancient god. There is no way to summon, and to summon powerful life races from humans. Crossing dimensions will originally bring huge restrictions, and the more stringent the specific summoning conditions are, the more powerful the summoned gods will be able to exert. Bai Xiao didn't care about the summoning conditions. The five young people in the hut represent five different identities, namely, female supporter, idiot, athlete, scholar and virgin. Only by dying in this order and within a specific time tonight, the group will successfully activate the summoning magic. It can only be said that it has classic horror elements. The perspective of the protagonist is clearly those five students, but using the 850 lives of the five students to activate the summons, Bai Xiao is not willing, and more importantly, in this Sarah's memory, there is another one a way to initiate a summons. A person with divine power can chant a spell and activate the summoning altar. It was no coincidence that he happened to have such magical power, but Bai Xiao didn't plan to summon it himself. Who knew if there was a pitfall in it, so he looked at Sarah. It's you, Pikachu. At the moment, the sky has darkened. Strangely, the heavy snow has stopped, and dark clouds are rolling in the sky. 
I can only hear the sound of thunder, but see a flash of lightning. Night falls. Bai Xiao didn't even look at Sarah, but walked straight towards the cabin in the forest. The snow on the ground did not cause him any trouble. Sarah followed closely behind. All the way to the door of the cabin in the forest, he knocked gently. A knock on the door interrupted the conversation among the five students inside the house. Suddenly, they fell into silence. Several students sitting on the sofa in the living room of the small house were frightened by the sudden knock on the door. At this time, in such a remote place, it was still night. Suddenly there was a knock on the door, and no one could hear it. It will be calm. Fortunately, Kurt took the lead to calm down and signaled everyone with his eyes. The rest of the people walked quietly to the toolbox and picked up some telescopic sticks, anti-wolf spray, short knives and other weapons. Kurt also held a baseball bat, walked to the door and said, Who? Hey man, I'm from New York. I'm traveling here and I heard there's a vacation cabin here, so I wanted to check it out. Bai Xiao spoke outside the door. Hearing Bai Xiao's young and clean voice, several people in the room breathed a sigh of relief. Holden, who was by the window, glanced at Bai Xiao standing outside the door. He had no weapons in his hands and was wearing a clean-down jacket. He faced Kurt nodded. Kurt then opened the door. I saw Bai Xiao wearing a white-down jacket. Bai Xiao took off his hat, revealing his youthful face. Whoa, man, how did you get here? Kurt asked suspiciously when he saw that Bai Xiao didn't have anything on him, not even a backpack. I put all my things in the car, and I parked it not far away. I saw the light in the cabin, so I came to take a look. Okay, come in, the temperature outside is very low. Kurt and the other four students looked at each other, and then extended an invitation to Bai Xiao. He was unarmed, Asian, and very handsome. This series of characteristics was enough to make Bai Xiao the students put down their guard. In the eyes of Americans today, mainly Asians, the threat is very low. If it is a strong black stranger, then you have to weigh it. Thanks. Bai Xiao smiled heartily and walked in without hesitation. Before Kurt closed the door, he glanced outside and didn't find anyone strange. Everyone warmly invited Bai Xiao to sit down. Bai Xiao was also the first to introduce himself, John. Xiao, you can call me Xiao. Kurt. Dina. Holden. Julie. Martin. Five students also reported their names. They are all young people, and all five have pretty good personalities. They are especially curious about Bai Xiao's experience. After all, a young Asian. Living in New York, but coming to Ohio alone on the second day of Christmas, to a resort village, this is not an ordinary person. They are all locals, and the vacation cabin was introduced by Kurt's cousin, so they organized a group and came here. If they want to go to a farther and unfamiliar place, they really don't dare to go. There was no barrier between people communicating, and they all talked about things that young people talk about. Bai Xiao has read a lot of things on the internet, and has a good memory, so he knows a lot. He has also seen the stuff that the young generation in the United States likes. So I know some. It was definitely a pleasure to chat. Kurt poured a cup of coffee for Bai Xiao, looked at the handsome Asian guy sitting next to Holden, and asked curiously, Xiao, are you a traveler? Why did you come here alone? Especially as an Asian. There is no doubt about the living environment of Asians in the United States. They are definitely at the bottom of the contempt chain. The atmosphere here in Ohio is not very good. They don't reject Bai Xiao, but that doesn't mean that other people here don't. It's really unimaginable. How did this handsome Asian guy have the guts to travel alone? Bai Xiao looked at the five students who looked at him curiously, and heard the exchanges between Sarah and other believers 1,000 meters outside the house. The underground altar was ready, and he no longer concealed his purpose. You are very lucky. I saw your selfies and descriptions on your blog, so I came here to find you. Walt. Kurt and the other five looked shocked. This sentence never occurred to them, and what does good luck mean? Instead of explaining 2.3, Bai Xiao put down the coffee cup, stood up, and walked outside the room and opened the door under the confused eyes of the five students. Sarah walked in with a dull look on her face. Kurt and the other five people immediately frowned and stood up, just when they were about to ask. Bai Xiao looked at the five people, get dressed and leave this room. There was an unquestionable meaning in the tone. The five Kurt people were definitely not satisfied with this tone and meaning, 
but when they saw Bai Xiao's black eyes, under the dim firelight, like dark stars in a black hole, they instinctively couldn't refuse. He put on his down jacket like a puppet on strings and walked out of the hut. Bai Xiao glanced at Kurt and others standing outside the house. Lift your foot and step down hard. Boom. Just this gentle kick, with boundless and violent power, was like a meteorite hitting the earth. It instantly caused the entire forest cabin to collapse instantly, the earth shook wildly, and the entire mountain shook violently. Outside the house, Kurt and the others were still confused. They were suddenly frightened by the terrible movement. Their bodies couldn't help shaking. They helped each other but eventually fell to the snow. With horrified eyes, everyone saw the hut in the forest in front of them collapse, and air waves carrying smoke, dust and wood swept across in all directions. Even the RV parked not far away suffered damage. Not only the windows were smashed, but the headlights and casing were also smashed. Several people screamed and blocked their faces with their hands, struggling to see what was happening in front of them. Unanswered questions emerged in my mind. Who is that mysterious Asian named John Shao? Why do you have to go all the way from New York to Ohio to find them through their blog? Who is that woman? Who caused the movement in front of you? These questions troubled everyone, but despite the fear and panic, they also made several younger students also excited. It's like a detective who likes to pursue the truth encounters a murder scene with almost no flaws. The violent shaking gradually calmed down, the dust and smoke dispersed, and the airwaves subsided. Several students looked forward in shock. Under the moonlight, their pupils shrank, because the cabin in the forest had completely disappeared, not only in this way, a huge amount of pit appeared in place, and an unknown red light emitted from the pit. The most important thing is that the Asian boy and the mysterious woman are floating quietly in midair, overlooking the bottom, seeming to be observing something. Cool, he can actually fly. Kurt whispered excitedly. Kurt. Holden looked at Kurt in disbelief. He didn't expect his friend to have such a reaction. But the other two girls were the same, their eyes were full of excitement and full of vitality. For two girls in adolescence, yellow-skinned, Asian, flight, searching for them through blogs, destroyed the cabin in the woods through some kind of force, creating the huge crater in front of them. Everything is full of mystery. Under the moonlight, the tall and tall figure floating like a black hole continues to attract their restless hearts. Guys, I always feel something is wrong. We must have encountered some kind of mysterious incident. As a knowledgeable person, Holden thought very quickly. He recalled what Bai Xiao had just said that made no sense. He was so lucky to find them specially. After adding the things in front of him, he seemed to have guessed something. I think we need to get out of here right now. Holden is right, Kurt, we have to get out of here, it's very dangerous. An honest Martin also said with some anxiety. Kurt looked at his friends, John Xiao, who was floating like a god in front of him, and the strange and ominous aura emanating from the pit. He nodded decisively in agreement. It was better not to seek death at this time. Curiosity is curiosity, but there is still only one life. So everyone immediately moved their things into the RV, and Kurt stepped on the accelerator and backed away, preparing to leave this place. Bai Xiao glanced at the RV with its windshield shattered on the ground and drove away. These students were not stupid. At least they were not like those protagonists in horror movies who like to seek death. Below the huge pit, he saw an altar that was not too big. There were five stones standing around the altar, with five different humanoid patterns carved on them, just like the picture that flashed through him. There was a group of believers at the altar. Bai Xiao glanced at it and stretched out his hand to put on Sarah's shoulder. A surge of magic power was injected into Sarah's body. The surging magic power filled Sarah's body, making Sarah, who was no longer young, seem to go back in time. The crow's feet and wrinkles brought by time on her face disappeared, and she was rejuvenated. But then Sarah felt pain, very painful. She felt like her body couldn't bear the surging energy, but she didn't say a word and just endured it silently. Bai Xiao didn't care whether she could bear it or not, as long as she could finish the spell. Infused with a small amount of magic power, his body floated far away in midair. Sarah was controlled by his mind and could not recite the summoning spell in her memory. The great ancient god, Sargaras, I, the faithful believer, pray for your coming, so that your great light will spread throughout the world, and the earth will tremble because of you. Long spells continued to sound from Sarah's mouth, 
and the sound continued to echo throughout the mountains and rivers. Even Kurt and everyone driving away on the road heard the sound. The voice that seemed to have a magic spell kept echoing in my ears. Kurt stepped on the brakes while driving the car, with a look of pain on his face, as did several other students. What the hell is this? Kurt covered his forehead with his hands, and the sound kept worming its way into his brain like insects. You can imagine the pain. The others were speechless in pain. Fortunately, the spell didn't last long, only about a minute, but this minute felt like a day had passed to Kurt and the five of them, the pain almost made the five of them collapse. But the bad news is that although the sound of the curse stopped, the pain also disappeared. But the five of them couldn't help but feel an inexplicable fear. This fear came from their hearts and souls. It was unclear and came unexpectedly. The fear caused cold sweat to break out on the foreheads of the five people. Boom. Immediately, an earth-shaking loud noise exploded, and the surrounding mountains shook wildly and violently. The energy of the vibrations was such that ten rocks fell off the mountain. Fortunately, their location is relatively safe and in a flat place. But there is a cliff not far ahead. In this case, the danger of the passage on the edge of the cliff can be imagined. Kurt punched the steering wheel angrily. Amid the violent shaking, Kurt and others panicked, and an extremely terrifying roar came from behind. The vibration became more violent, and Kurt and the others couldn't help but turn around and look through the rear window. One could vaguely see the distant sky behind, illuminated by the bright moonlight, and vaguely see a huge arm that covered the sky and covered the sun, wrapped in lava. I bought it. Kurt and others' eyes were dull. What on earth was that? What kind of thing did they encounter? Why is this happening? They were confused, but some were excited. Bai Xiao, who was floating in midair, looked at the huge arms wrapped in lava that stretched out from the ground of the forest hut. The temperature began to rise. The snow on the ground also began to melt under this temperature, turning into water and flowing toward the lower altitudes. Direction flows. That ferocious, violent, and bloodthirsty aura swept across the world. He just watched as this huge amount of arms swung down, patted the so-called loyal believer Sarah, and slapped her to the ground. Boom. The ground shook, and raging air waves swept in all directions. All the surrounding trees were broken by the air waves, and dense cracks appeared on the ground around the huge palm. Grasping the ground, a terrifying and tall figure slowly climbed up from the ground, pushed away the soil on the surface, and gradually stood up straight. Bai Xiao also changed from looking down to looking up. This is a huge creature that is probably more than 300 meters long. It has an ugly appearance, a ferocious head, and sharp teeth in its large mouth. It has a humanoid body, with scales covering its skin, shoulders, and back. There are very sharp barbs, and the scarlet eyes exude violence. Roaring towards the sky. The roar of the explosion set off sound waves, soaring into the sky in all directions, blowing away the dark clouds in the sky. The entire mountain range trembled because of the birth of this huge creature. Countless creatures that had fallen into hibernation woke up from their sleep and fled in panic. The huge black figure reflected in the moonlight was reflected in the eyes of Bai Xiao and Kurt on the road in the distance. Several people's faces were full of fear. What is this? Is it a demon? Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Drive quickly, Kurt, we need to get out of here right away. With a trembling voice, Julie wanted to urge Kurt to drive away. She wanted to escape from this place. Even if she might pass by the edge of the cliff, even if she fell into the abyss, she didn't want to see that huge and terrifying figure again. She felt like she was going to die in this place. No, you can't drive. The entire mountain range is shaking now. The cliff road is too long. Once we encounter a mountain torn on the road, we will be dead. Martin, a curly-haired man, immediately spoke to stop him. He was the only one present. Someone who barely has enough sense. He knew that going back in this situation would definitely result in death. Martin is right. We can't go back. The mountain structure there is too brittle and can easily disintegrate. We must calm down. Holden said in agreement as he calmed down his fear. Look, what is that? Suddenly Julie ran to the back of the car and shouted through the rear window. The others immediately followed and saw a golden light blooming in front of the terrifying black giant, as gentle and dazzling as the sun. Golden ripples rolled and rippled, covering the sky and the earth. 
This also lit up the night sky, allowing the five people to clearly see the ferocious appearance of the giant's body. That's Xiao. Kurt picked up the binoculars and looked over, and said in surprise. Walter. Over there, the golden flowing magic rippled around by Xiao. The breeze blew by. He opened the opening of his down jacket and took it off. He grabbed the down jacket with one hand, revealing a black shirt, jeans and sneakers. Under the dark night, he looked like a prince under the moonlight. The down jacket in my hand swayed in the wind. Facing the towering giant, Bai Xiao raised his head slightly with satisfaction in his eyes. What a big monster. With such a large body type 430, the pressure and aura far exceed that of the blood god, which is enough to prove the gold content of this ancient god. Another good harvest day. Bai Xiao was very confident. When he saw the birth of this ancient god for the first time, he knew that the other party was powerful enough, but compared to himself, there was still a long way to go. Human, who are you? I don't feel the breath from other worlds from you. Bai Xiao stared at the ancient god Sargaras, and Sargaras also noticed Bai Xiao. After all, no one would ignore such a large luminous source. The most important thing is that he felt the danger, and he actually came from a danger as felt in the small human body. This was originally a very incredible thing for Sargaras. He comes from the ancient times, and has also seen some ancient humans with powerful power in the ancient times. Those humans who fought against the gods have a collective name, heroes. But countless years have passed, the gods either died or left, and those ancient human heroes also died of old age. The earth rarely gives birth to strong people. Unexpectedly, he was actually summoned and met a strong human being. How could he not make Sargaras confused? And, and Sargaras always felt that the human being in front of him was very strange, so strange that he couldn't tell where the sense of dissonance came from. So he was curious. Facing the huge amounts of doubts about the ancient god Sargaras, Bai Xiao whistled. I'm not interested in answering your questions. Now, let's play a game. A game called Life and Death. Bang. The explosive energy exploded, and Bai Xiao's figure disappeared instantly. A ring of air exploded in his original position, and his whole body was like a sharp sword cutting through the air and heading straight towards the huge ancient god Sargaras. Head. The latter lived up to the name of the ancient god. Facing the oncoming Bai Xiao, his reaction was extremely quick. Raising one hand and making a fist, he aimed at Bai Xiao like a mountain and hit him. In an instant, two fists of completely different file sizes collided. Time seemed to be frozen at this moment, but it was only for one second. The next second, with the two fists as the center, terrifying energy burst out. This energy was like thunder exploding, raging. The ripples rippled, and the entire mountain range suddenly cracked, with ten large cracks opening around the ancient god's feet. When a natural disaster strikes, the energy ripples generated by the collision between the ancient gods and Bai Xiao sweep across like a torrent. The sky seemed to have cracked because of this collision. The mountains were broken, and the raging trees were swept away by the air waves and destroyed everything. Huge amounts of cracks appeared densely on the mountain. Turbulence and destruction were the themes of this moment. Disaster, this is a disaster more terrible than natural disasters. Those believers who worshipped the ancient god Sargaras in the mountain did not wait for the gods they worshipped to give them what they desired, but only waited for irresistible disasters. They died, all of them died here. They are just ordinary humans, how can they survive in the battle between two life forms of the same level as gods? One breath, and they will be wiped out. In addition to them, there are definitely a few other people, officially Kurt's five students, although they have fled a long distance, they are still within the range of this mountain range, and the aftermath still spreads to them. There are cracks on the surface of the road mountain, and the largest one even spreads towards the RV where they are. Once the bottomless crack spreads, Kurt and the other five people will fall into the abyss along with the RV, and there will be no body left. Martin was the first to discover this. He shouted frantically and pulled his companions to escape from the RV quickly. Run. Martin may look like an honest curly-haired man, but he is actually very fit. He was the first to open the door of the RV and jump down. The other four people who were almost scared to death also staggered and fled quickly. Among them, Julie almost fell down because of being too anxious. Fortunately, the sharp-eyed Kurt grabbed Julie and escaped from the RV. They took a step and staggered towards one of the open and uncracked open spaces in the violent vibration. 
But the area involved in the battle of gods does not allow any mortal to set foot on it. Those who set foot on it will only die. The mountain was shaking violently. Kurt and the others were still trying to stabilize their bodies. They watched the RV being swallowed by the huge crack and fell into the abyss. They had no time to rejoice. The fate of death finally spread to them. In the desperate eyes of Kurt and others, the ground where they were located cracked again, and the extent of the crack was unimaginable. The dense cracks made this area completely shattered and collapsed. They screamed and replicated the fate of the RV. But strangely, an inexplicable power enveloped them, allowing them to float in the air and slowly move to another complete area. This area seemed to be watched by the gods. No matter how the mountain shook, collapsed, and collapsed, this area was not affected. Kurt and the other five who escaped death were full of doubts. They suppressed their fear and heard a gentle voice in their ears. Have a good sleep and cherish the hard-won future. Quote. The world was turned upside down and chaotic. They seemed to have come to a gorgeous passage. As they shuttled through this passage, they could not control their bodies and could only watch the huge and gorgeous light source in front of them approach them and only engulf them. They disappeared into the mountains. Over there, Bai Shao, who was going crazy with the ancient god Sargaras, frowned, but remained calm. Facing the towering giant's huge palm that covered the sky, he used psychokinesis to create an invisible under his feet. He stepped on the psychokinesis wall with both feet, crushing the psychokinesis wall with a violent burst of speed. His figure roared towards the head of the ancient god Sargaras, and the figure that cut through the air exploded into terrifying cone-shaped air waves in the air. Sargaras didn't react at this moment. Bai Shao had already rushed to his cheek, and a bright golden light bloomed on his right white sneaker. The speed of this kick climbed to the speed of light level, and a blow hit Sargaras, the old titan god, on the cheek. Even though Sargaras' head was still like a big mountain in front of Bai Shao, the destructive force caused by that kick hitting Sargaras' face caused huge damage to him. With a painful roar and an earth-shattering roar, Sargaras' head was turned around by a kick. His body tilted hugely, and he couldn't control his body and fell heavily to the ground. A huge thing with a height of more than 300 meters fell down, changing the terrain of the mountains in an instant. Part of the entire mountain range was smashed through, creating huge amounts of dents and sending up clouds of dust and smoke. Bai Shao floated in the air, raising his arms high. Dozens of kilometers away, a silver cross sword whizzed through the sky and among the clouds, and finally fell into his hands. Here, the destructive power of Bai Shao's kick is powerful enough, and it can even easily rewrite the terrain within a radius of more than 10 miles. However, Sargaras is an ancient god after all, the titan evil god. His life level is astonishingly high. This kick cannot let him fatal, he has completely recovered from self-healing in a few breaths. He roared angrily, and just as he was about to get up, a dazzling golden beam of light fell from the sky and hit Sargaras hard on the head. Boom. The terrifying force hit Sargaras's head and shook it again, setting off thousands of feet of dust and smoke, which rolled in all directions like a sandstorm. Before this was over, Sargaras once again felt his body being lifted up by a huge force, and then his huge body was thrown into the sky and dragged by that unrivaled force. On the ground below, in a pit within a few kilometers, Bai Shao stood, looking up at Sargaras, who was given the money, who was thrown into the sky by himself. His left hand was wrapped with golden flowing fireworks. It was obvious that this move made him use his strange strength. Quote dot quote. It's really hard, but I don't have time to play with you now. He saw an invisible air current surging, and a strong wind blew by, blowing his broken hair and dancing wildly. He held the cross sword tightly in both hands and raised it high above his head. The dazzling golden stars appeared in the sky, like billions of golden stars flowing. They gathered at the raised cross sword. Compress, compress, compress. The continuously compressed magic power in the body poured into the sword body, causing the cross sword body to spurt out golden holy light. Around him, the air began to distort due to the terrifying pressure, the magnetic field fell into chaos, and gravel on the ground within a few hundred meters began to float around him uncontrollably. When reaching a critical point, the air collapsed in the direction of Bai Shao, and Bai Shao's eyes burned with golden flames, and he aimed hard at the ancient god Sargaras in the sky and struck it down. 
Boom. In an instant, the ground shattered, the turbulent air flow rolled back, and the deep pit with a diameter of several thousand meters was once again dented. The rolling waves rolled up the surrounding land, and all the floating gravel was squeezed into powder. A dazzling torrent of golden energy sprayed from the sword body, pointing directly at the ancient god Sargaras in the sky. The latter felt the oppression. He roared and turned over, his whole body burning with surging green energy. Huge amounts of palms were blocked in front of him. The torrent was very fast, as fast as light. The majestic golden torrent completely swallowed up the ancient god Sargaras. The golden torrent bloomed with bright light and dispersed the sky. Explosive air waves swept across the sky. The sky was illuminated, the dark clouds were heated, the high temperature energy evaporated, and the air was distorted visibly to the naked eye. In the torrent, a figure of huge amounts could be vaguely seen roaring and struggling in it. The green light and shadow flashed away, and then was crushed by gold. The so-called ancient god Sargaras, the titan's life, was finally submerged in the golden torrent under this irresistible force and disappeared into ashes. The 327 rippling air waves spread for dozens of kilometers, and the sudden dazzling light like the rising sun turned the world into day. It lasted for a long time before it was slowly rendered dark again. After everything calmed down, all that was left was devastation. The surrounding pristine and natural mountains were broken into pieces. Deep pits as large as file size and as small as small seemed to have been baptized by missiles. Many mountain tops were affected by the aftermath of the air wave and had a layer shaved off. Countless broken wood, piles of rocks, and lakes were evaporated. There are countless cracks in the center area, both large and small. The originally elegant and natural mountain environment has been completely rewritten. Even if someone wants to develop this area, they probably won't be able to build a complete road. Maybe it can only be seen from a bird's eye view, and you can see a bit of broken beauty. Bai Xiao held the cross sword and stood in the huge pit. He watched helplessly as the life essence, which was richer than the blood god, sank into his body. In an instant, the process of, stepping into metamorphosis was shortened by 10 seconds. About one third. He could initially feel the wonders and all-round strengthening of the level of life as it entered a new stage. Not to mention the all-round strengthening, the world in front of him seemed to have changed a little, becoming more sensitive and seeing things that many people could not see. Bai Xiao did not delve into this for the time being, because he was going to meet an important person next, a person who had appeared when he fought Sargaras. The figure slowly floated up and flew towards the southwest. After a while, he saw a slightly intact mountain cliff and the person who was looking up at him. The moment he saw the man, he immediately confirmed his thoughts. The body slowly floated down and landed in front of this person. This is our first meeting. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bai Xiao. My name is Ancient One and I am a magician. The gentle female voice has an indescribable magnetism, like a clear spring, like a wise man who makes people feel at ease. This is a woman, still bald, wearing a yellow magician robe, holding a folding fan in her hand, and a necklace inlaid with green gems hanging around her neck. Ancient One Magician. Sure enough, I noticed changes in the entire space before. It seems that this is all the preparations made by the Ancient One Magician. Bai Xiao raised his eyebrows. The old titan god Sargaras has a very high status, and the battle with you will result in the death of a large number of innocent people if this space is not sealed. Ancient One admitted this frankly, so I need to spend a little bit. This little trick is simply amazing to me. Bai Xiao glanced at it. If he hadn't noticed it before, he was keenly aware of it after killing the old god Sargaras. He realized that although this world was very real, he felt a faint sense of dissonance. It's as if he shouldn't be in this place, and from a deeper perspective, there is a strange energy fluctuation that creates a very huge space. Bai Xiao is sure that these ten steps are the mirror space magic of magic. Create a different space that is completely isolated from reality. In this space, everything in the real world can be observed, but people in the real world cannot be harmed and can see the mirror space. And in this world, spellcasters can completely build the space they want. Very powerful magic. When a magician of the Ancient One's level is used, it is even less likely to be noticed. At this point, Bai Xiao felt that his previous idea was indeed right. Although the bald female in front of him looked thin and weak, she also liked to fight in close combat with others. 
For this reason, she was personally killed by her good apprentice. Death, the level of life is far inferior to one's own. But under this thin appearance, there is an extremely terrifying soul hidden. There is a huge amount of magical knowledge stored in this soul, which makes her not bound by the body at all. She can completely break away from this almost decayed and old body and travel across the multi-universe with her soul. Even using the soul to materialize and rebuild a new body is easy. To put it bluntly, according to the world of immortality, this is a big boss who specializes in serving the soul, and it is two extremes to become a saint through pure physical body. Bai Xiao has now made a little comparison between him and Ancient One. Judging from his super brain analysis, he can flutter twice and then be beaten to death by Ancient One's magic. As for being killed by the apprentice in close combat and then falling to death, this is something that the pure fool strange in the early stage could believe. It was purely a lie that this tool man didn't know enough about magic. It is estimated that after he became one of the strongest magicians in the Nine Realms in the middle and late stages, he would be able to guess that the Ancient One must have faked his death to escape. Leave the responsibility to Strange. Unable to defeat him, Bai Xiao decisively restrained some unrealistic ideas and pretended to be tough. You have a very keen sense, Mr. Bai Xiao. It seems that you have a preliminary understanding of the world. Ancient One Magician, you seem to know me very well. I've been watching you. Observe me. After a few words, Bai Xiao immediately analyzed that Ancient One was just as he had expected and guessed before. He must have known that he was the source of changing the future historical timeline, and had been secretly observing him, but he definitely didn't know that he changed his soul and returned it to a person. If he knew, Ancient One might not have this attitude. To be on the safe side, Bai Xiao still pretended to be calm and continued to communicate and analyze useful information from the female bald man's words. Yes, I am a magician. I lead a magician organization and have been silently guarding this world from invasions from other worlds, so I also have some abilities that ordinary people cannot imagine. Ancient One nodded, his voice was very gentle, Onamichi came very patiently to Bai Xiao's confusion. Just a year ago, I was facing an enemy from another world. It took me a long time to fight and expel it, but during this time, I felt some very wonderful changes. I just couldn't get away. I waited until I expelled that enemy and then I found you. The ancient one magician looked at Bai Xiao. She was not tall, but she was still about 1.7 meters tall. She was half a head shorter than Bai Xiao, so her angle of view was slightly raised, but Bai Xiao did not feel that there was any difference. A sense of looking down. On the contrary, the other person is the one standing in a bird's eye view. Ancient One saw Bai Xiao listening patiently, with a smile on her lips, and continued to talk unhurriedly. I have observed a paranoid and radical you, extremely rational, but full of revenge. Flame. But the flames of revenge did not devour your heart. On the contrary, your kindness made you give up the path of stepping into the abyss, which makes me very happy. Bai Xiao frowned and said nothing, but analyzed word for word in his heart. Sure enough, the other party discovered the changes in history from the beginning, but because he was held back by someone, he could be held back for such a long time. It was probably not Dormammu, but a being of Dormammu's level. When the other party is free to observe him, it should be during the period when he has finished killing the vampires or killed the blood god. His life level has experienced metamorphosis again and again, and his soul has already metamorphosis to an unimaginable level. What's more, he has focused on developing spiritual power and building a spiritual defense line. The Ancient One has the ability to see through people's souls and read memories, but to read the memory without being noticed by Bai Xiao. It's simply not possible. At that time, Bai Xiao was also a person, and Bai Xiao's original identity was very solid, a proper native, and his soul and body were completely consistent. Unless the Ancient One read his memory, he would not be able to see through it at all. At most, they are curious and doubtful about his growth rate. It was really too fast and too perverted, and Bai Xiao felt that this meeting would take a long time. Ancient One was so anxious to see him, probably because he grew up too fast. This time, he discovered the ancient evil god saw by coincidence. Glass, fighting with the other party made too much noise, so he happened to go with the flow and just come to see him. It also completely revealed the most real side of the world to him. 
So Bai Xiao basically confirmed that this female bald magician should indeed regard him as the earth camp and accept it. Bai Xiao's silence is not surprising to ancient one magician. I believe that anyone who knows that he is being observed secretly by another mysterious person must feel uncomfortable. Isn't this surveillance? And the character displayed by Bai Xiao is not only kind, but also decisive and killing. Being recognized as an enemy, the attack is called hesitation. This world is bigger and more complicated than you think, Xiao, I think through this time, you should have discovered it. The ancient one said softly, and later did not hide it, completely revealing the ten most authentic aspects of this world. What multi-universe, what hell, heaven, what alien civilizations, what powerful people from other dimensions are coveting this world, Kamar Taj, Asgard, etc. have all said goodbye to Bai Shao. Although Bai Shao has long ago clearly, there was no expression on the surface, but there was shock in his eyes. It can only be said to be an Oscar-winning performance. As expected, Ancient One did not see the clues. She said meaningfully to Bai Xiao, This world has never been peaceful, and the earth has never been safe. The other side that humans cannot imagine is endless crises. I think you also noticed something, so you abandoned the original path of revenge inventing, and started looking for enemies who can harm the world. I'm glad you did this, Xiao. I just think those monsters are more interesting to kill, and those powerful enemies can make me grow faster. Bai Xiao did not directly talk about a lot of responsibilities such as protecting the earth, but instead changed to another one that was more consistent. The description of his current personality. Since the main character is acting, he must be realistic and believable enough. Super Brain sincerely does not bully him. Just as he thought, Ancient One was not angry at Bai Xiao's arrogant remarks, but actually laughed. Through these observations over time, Coupled with the original experience, Ancient One basically confirmed that Bai Xiao is a local, and there is no possibility of possessing others' body from other worlds. Ancient One still has this confidence. After all, at her level, any discrepancy would not be hidden from her eyes. More importantly, everything the Asian boy did during this period was completely in line with his character. When he was weak at first, after his parents died, he was bullied in various ways because of his skin color. After metamorphosis, he embarked on the road of revenge. He killed everyone who had bullied him. This was not enough. The flame of revenge did not exist. Instead of dissipating, he became even stronger, hating the gangsters he had blamed for his mother's death. He believed that gangsters were a cancer, so he massacred them like crazy, earning him the name of the butcher. But those innocent people may be enough to prove that there is still kindness deep in his heart. After gradually growing up, he discovered the vampire race, so he abandoned his original idea and believed that vampires were more harmful. The kindness and responsibility deep inside made him start hunting vampires without hesitation. I definitely saw another personality trait of Bai Xiao from hunting the blood god and the old god Sargaras, which is warlike. Whether it was the blood god or the ancient god Sargaras, they were actually noticed by Bai Xiao early on but Bai Xiao still allowed them to be summoned smoothly and completely destroyed them with his own power. This militant character is displayed vividly. In fact, being bellicose is also a form of arrogance. However, Ancient One understands this better. After all, everyone has their own unique personality, and she has always been amazed by Bai Xiao's growth rate. He grew up too fast. A year ago, he went from an ordinary person to a stage where he could easily destroy the ancient god Sargaras after experiencing small and large battles. This kind of strength should be the most outstanding existence below Yadian father. As far as ancient one knows, the two future kings of Asgard who have lived for thousands of years now, faced by Shao in front of them, could only be blasted by a hammer, and, 803. Moreover, Thor also has the blood of the Odin family and the blessing of divine power. The foundation is also one of the best in the universe. Now it took Bai Xiao a year to surpass him. This speed is too abnormal. The ancient one thinks that there may be a warlike element in it. There is a warlike gene in his bones. He accelerates his growth through continuous fighting. This is a bit similar to Thor. Growing up in battle, ancient one has seen this characteristic a lot, so it's not unusual. Therefore, Ancient One is not disgusted with Bai Xiao's bellicose personality. In addition, while Bai Xiao is bellicose, he also maintains extreme rationality. 
This rationality allows Bai Xiao to keep a clear mind when facing the enemy and analyze the opponent's strength and weakness. Two different personalities are not particularly contradictory. Use rational analysis to ensure that the opponent's strength will not far exceed his own. If Bai Xiao ensures this, he will start a war with his opponent without any scruples and use the battle as nourishment to grow himself. Ancient One is quite curious about this combination of personalities. She admires Bai Xiao very much. As long as the other party ensures that his position and personality remain unchanged, she can invest happily. Yes, Ancient One's current attitude towards Bai Xiao is investment. There is no doubt that the historical timeline has been changed. Even if Bai Xiao is killed at the moment, the future will still be changed and embarked on another unpredictable path, and she cannot repair it. Under these basic conditions, all the characteristics Bai Xiao showed made Ancient One think that as long as there was no accident, she could not tell how high the other party could grow. In this case, if you invest in the other party before it has fully grown up, the future returns will be unimaginably rich. It's just so realistic. Bai Xiao also guessed these ideas, so now he is still sitting on the Dao Yutai. Not to mention that it seems that he easily deceived the Ancient One, the level god father magician, which seems unrealistic. It's actually all based on a lot of layouts and coincidences. The first one is that his own soul occupies the body, integrates the original memory, and then opens the way to kill people and become stronger, strengthening in all directions, completely integrating the soul and body into one, without any side effects. If you follow the setting of cultivating immortals, you will get it. A native recognized by heaven. The ancient one was held back, unable to find him immediately, and probe his soul while he was at his weakest. Later, Bai Xiao specially created a character on the way to killing people and becoming stronger, just to make ancient one feel relieved. In addition, its normal speed is too abnormal, so there is the possibility of investment. Many coincidences and accumulation of layouts gave Bai Xiao an information gap before he was able to deceive the Ancient One. If anything was missing, he might fail. No way, this is when you are weak and you have to pretend to be a grandson. As the saying goes, if you want to be a master, you must first pretend to be a grandson. These thoughts only last for a moment. Since Ancient One officially met with Bai Xiao and confirmed Bai Xiao's character, it was a matter of course for Ancient One to start investing. So she smoothly invited Bai Xiao. If you have time, you might as well go to Kamar Taj as a guest. Although you have grown up fast enough, you still lack understanding of the world and a lot of knowledge. To embark on a great road, knowledge is like bricks and tiles, laying a solid foundation to pave your way. Seemingly thinking of Bai Xiao's arrogant and belligerent character, she gave another reason. You need more stronger opponents, and I think Kamar Taj can satisfy you. Thank you, Ancient One Magician, but are you trying to make up for it? No, I just hope that there will be one more person in this world who can protect you, and that you can become strong enough. Ancient One said with compassion, the established future has changed, and as it to change the future, you need to grow up as quickly as possible and respond to those crises. What a noble reason. I'm afraid you want to treat me as a new tool man and make plans for your retirement, right? Bai Xiao secretly cursed in his heart that this female bald man would do anything to pretend to be dead in order to retire as soon as possible. Now that there is another one who looks like a high-quality tool man, he will definitely not be let go. Maybe, the Ancient One wants to give him the position of Sorcerer Supreme. The other party wanted to use him as a tool, and he also wanted to learn magic and accumulate knowledge, so he could only go in both directions. Okay. That sounds interesting, but I'm really curious about magic, so see you tomorrow. You can find this location and someone will take you to Kamar Taj. We look forward to meeting you tomorrow, Mr. Bai Xiao. The Ancient One smiled and passed the location information to Bai Xiao through psychic power. Then he glanced around and saw a circular teleportation array with sparks appearing in the air behind him. Ancient One turned around and stepped into the teleportation array, disappearing as the teleportation array disappeared. At the moment, the whole world changed quietly. Bai Xiao turned around and saw that the mountains that should have been devastated have now returned to their original appearance. 3.2 Under the Moonlight. It still seemed so quiet. In other words, from the beginning, he, and even everyone, had already existed in the world of seen space. 
It was such a miraculous method that Bai Xiao's desire for magical knowledge became even stronger. The magic was teleported just now. At this time, under the moonlight, he stood on the edge of the cliff with some thoughtful eyes, and his brain was recalling the scene of the magic teleportation array just now. Why do I always feel like he knows it? Bai Xiao has never doubted his own understanding, and he is sure that his ability in magic learning will not be bad, and he is probably much better than a certain tool man. Coupled with the innate advantage of his own magical power, it is not unusual to be able to learn teleportation magic at a glance. But he wouldn't try it here either. Magic is too idealistic and dangerous. Bai Xiao also has an adventurous spirit, but usually it is within the range that he thinks he can bear the risk. Magic is too mysterious. If there is a surprise in the lottery by using teleportation magic, it will be troublesome. We are heading to Kamar Taj tomorrow anyway, so there is no need to take such a risk. Still focus on safety. Thinking of this, Bai Xiao gave up the idea of activating the teleportation magic and immediately flew to the place where he placed the Blackbird 2 fighter. In addition, what makes Bai Xiao helpless is that this fighter seems to be about to be eliminated. It can only be said that the plan is not as big as the changes. The next day, Bai Xiao enjoyed a delicious Chinese meal in the manor, and the incident of the ancient god Sargaras did not attract any attention. Although the battle was loud, it was all in the 18 mirror world of Ancient One. The memories of those five students were probably altered, as evidenced by the fact that the selfies and descriptions on the blog were changed to another vacation location. To eliminate traces, Shield is the Durr, and the magicians are the masters. Then, wearing a down jacket and jeans, he drove a McLaren sports car to Brick Street in New York and found no. 177. Bai Xiao stopped the car on the side of the road, and before he knocked on the door, the door was opened. Inside was a black man wearing a thick cotton magician robe. John. Shaw, His Holiness is waiting for you at Kamar Taj. After entering the gate, the gate behind him closed automatically, and the black magician in front of him said something to Bai Xiao, drew a circle next to it, and a teleportation magic appeared. Bai Xiao nodded to the black magician and stepped forward. The footsteps walked into the circle. When he steps in, the teleportation magic behind him is automatically turned off. This is another world, an unknown place. This is the direction of the Himalayas. The heavy snow in winter covers this historic and classical building. The place where he teleported was a square. At the moment, there were many magicians wearing down magician robes, holding cleaning tools and diligently clearing the snow. Seeing Bai Xiao's appearance, these magicians were quite curious. How does it feel here? Is it different from what you imagined? The Ancient One's voice came to his ears. Bai Xiao turned around and saw that the Ancient One was also wearing a slightly thicker magician robe, but it turned white. It's very secluded and beautiful here. This is the Himalayas, also located near Kathmandu in Nepal, and Kamar Taj was founded thousands of years ago. Ancient One said and took Bai Xiao to the main hall. The wooden building has classical aesthetics, wooden floors, low tables, and couches. The living room in the main hall is very spacious and has a good view. You can see the snowy scenery of the Himalayas through the wooden window. Ancient One took Bai Xiao to sit down in front of the couch, and made a cup of tea for Bai Xiao very skillfully, smoothly and elegantly. Are you willing to learn magic, Xiao? The Ancient One magician is willing to teach me. Ah. I may not be in Kamar Taj for a lot of time. There are many old magicians here. If you have any questions, you can go to them. I believe you are not an introvert. I can see that you are very interested in knowledge and growth. Eager. Ancient One smiled and said, But when you have time, you can also come and ask me. I am happy to see an outstanding young master grow. It's just that your excellence may stimulate some of my students. Thank you. Bai Xiao raised his teacup and offered a toast to Ancient One, who accepted it calmly. Anyone who can impart knowledge is a mentor. Bai Xiao still has some courtesy and morality, even though he and Ancient One both know that this is originally a two-way transaction. Magic is a very ancient secret power of the universe. It can do many unimaginable things. It can create worlds, browse multi-universe, and explore the long river of time. The magic of Kamar Taj is somewhat special. Without further ado, Ancient One begins with the origins and knowledge of its magic. Most of Kamar Taj's magicians turned out to be just ordinary humans. 
they did not have energy in their bodies, so they needed to communicate with specific spells and inscribe magic circles to absorb magic energy from other dimensions and release powerful magic. It's just that the borrowed power must be repaid eventually. The more power you borrow, the greater the attack on yourself, so most of the magicians in Kamar Taj learn some fighting skills and use shields and weapons to fight together. But you are different, Xiao. There is huge power hidden in your body, and you also have powerful spiritual power. The combination of the two gives you an innate advantage in learning magic. Ancient One said this was a little envious. After all, Bai Xiao has so many inherent advantages that he is like an old man throwing food into the car. Bai Xiao didn't take it seriously. He was just chasing after God to feed him. Compared with other races, compared with some big guys born in the divine system, he was just following God's butt to beg for food. Ancient One's words continued, You only need knowledge, skip the steps of communication and borrowing magic energy, learn and accumulate 493, thoroughly understand magic knowledge, and create your own magic system. Ancient One's knowledge reserve is astonishingly high, and as a teacher, she is also one of the best. Naturally, his eyesight is sharp, and he can definitely see what Bai Xiao needs most now. You can go to the library at will, where all the magical knowledge accumulated by Kamar Taj over thousands of years is stored. In the next few years, this will be an important part of laying the foundation for you. I will talk to the magician guarding the library about this, but I hope you will not touch the taboo black magic for the time being. Those magics are very powerful, but they also have the ability to corrode the soul. Your character is originally biased toward extremes, which may lead to your downfall. Only by accumulating enough magic knowledge can you fully use black magic for your own use. Later, Ancient One also specifically warned that whether it is white magic or black magic, it is the use of power. There is no distinction between up and down, and there is no justice or evil. She, Ancient One, is Kamar Taja's strongest white magician. Likewise he is also the strongest black magician. The latter can often be learned quickly, is powerful, and has relatively few side effects. Thank you Ancient One Magician for the reminder. Bai Xiao accepted this kind offer. He is not an ignorant person. On the road of magic knowledge, he is just a newbie who knows nothing. He will never question the value of Ancient One Magician in this aspect. Ancient One smiled and nodded. Later, we will officially start teaching some precautions about magic and so on. Bai Xiao, Write it down, drink tea, say goodbye to Ancient One, and can't wait to go to the library. Asgardian is not the fat Asian magician in his memory, but a white-haired old magician who is taciturn and doesn't like to talk. With the authorization of Ancient One, Bai Xiao can enter and exit the library freely. He does not have those high-level magics, but starting from the lowest level of basic magic. He thoroughly understood these magics from the basics, laying the foundation for the magic he would create later. Time flies by, and two years have passed since the four seasons changed. The earth has been somewhat peaceful in the past two years, but some thoughtful people have discovered that a very special person has settled down. That is Bai Xiao. Bai Xiao's reputation as a butcher is well known to some people, and Bai Xiao's purchase of a villa in Long Island, New York is definitely known to some people. Among them was a certain snake. Ever since Hydra learned of the existence of the butcher Bai Xiao, it had launched an placement plan against Bai Xiao under extremely secretive conditions. It is quite difficult to create this condition, because Nick Fury's original ability is very powerful, and it can be said that S.H.I.E.L.D. has the most outstanding skills since its creation. Internally, it is very difficult for Hydra to hide from Nick Fury and plant spies on people he cares about very much. But it still took a lot of time to do this. But what makes Hydra feel the weirdest is that after they used some means to persuade and successfully brainwash the two maids, they wanted to observe Bai Xiao, the butcher, and then nothing happened. They were shocked to find that all Hydra involved in this mission died in various ways within one day. Jump off a building, jump into a river, get hit by a car when going out, eat constantly, burst your stomach, etc. This immediately aroused great concern from Hydra. After all, these people are also people from S.H.I.E.L.D. The death of so many agents in one day must have attracted great attention from Nick Fury. It also happened that there were many senior officials and personnel inside, and a lot of resources were used to do it. Press this thing down. Then they began to secretly pursue this strange incident, 
but in the end no results were obtained, but the similarities were too obvious, and all of them pointed to Ku Bai Shao. But they didn't know what method Bai Shao used. Revenge. That's impossible. Once they retaliate against the people Nick Fury pays close attention to, they will inevitably expose themselves. Whether they can kill them or not is another question. Maybe this incident will lead to Nick Fury's complete recovery. Butcher. Unable to move, Hydra had no choice but to pretend that this incident had not happened. Bai Shao appears and disappears, sometimes in the manner, sometimes disappearing mysteriously. Hydra simply pretends that Bai Shao is unknown. The source of this incident is definitely Bai Shao himself. As for Bai Shao, she is currently mirroring the world in space. He was wearing a simple, red jacket, white system, black broken hair as always, and his tall and straight body stood high in the sky. Compared to two years ago, his facial features have become more refined. Metamorphosis at the life level has gradually brought his body shape to the most perfect stage. His height and facial features are in the most perfect proportions, his skin is white and tender, and no rough spots can be seen. At the moment it hung high in the sky, looking down like a god. On the ground, a huge lava demon of more than 500 meters rose from the ground, roaring angrily at Bai Shao in the sky. Magician, I'm going to tear you apart. Okay, okay, I know, but before you tear me apart, try the thing I created first. After the perfunctory words were spoken without any pressure, Bai Shao's pupils were illuminated by golden light. In an instant, magic power surged, and no movement was seen on his part. A whirlpool of golden magic arrays appeared in the space behind him, which were connected to form the pattern of ten high golden walls of the Imperial Palace. Various weapons slowly emerged from the golden vortex. Every weapon contains majestic power. The lava demon who was originally arrogant and domineering, clamoring to tear Bai Shao, the little human magician, into pieces suddenly became visibly dull on his face. There is a big question mark hanging on the head. Ha! The lava demon instinctively makes a sound of doubt in the soul. Then the huge body trembled, and the lava demon felt danger, an extremely terrifying danger. At this moment, the lava demon suddenly regretted it. Why did he sneak to the earth? And why should we encounter such a terrifying magician? Bai Shao supported his waist with one hand. He ignored the lava demon below who had been frightened into dementia. The figure behind him was dazzlingly rendered in gold, making him appear sacred and majestic. He squinted his eyes slightly and gently moved his right hand downward in pleasure. Wave. Bang. The moment the palm was waved down, weapons all over the sky dragged long golden tail flames, falling towards the ground like meteors, and smashed into the lava demon. At this time, the lava demon just woke up from its dementia. It was already too late to avoid or resist, from Nu Zhao. Those weapons fell too fast, as fast as the speed of light. Boom, boom, boom. There were huge amounts of roaring accompanied by vague screams, and the entire surface was completely baptized. Golden mushroom clouds exploded on the ground, and terrifying air waves swept in all directions during the explosion. The terrifying vibrations made the world in the mirror space tremble, as if it was about to break at any time. The air on the ground was twisted and upside down, and pure destruction wreaked havoc on everything, devouring the body and soul of the lava demon. The most terrifying thing is that weapons are continuously emerging from the golden whirlpools behind Bai Shao. The heavy rain continued to pour, lasting for a full minute before slowly stopping. Huge amounts of the storm dissipated with the violent explosion, revealing the shocking land. There are countless deep pits large and small, ranging from hundreds to thousands of meters in size to tens of meters in size. The cracks that spread for kilometers are as terrifying as spider webs. There are densely packed weapons stuck upside down on the ground. The shapes of these weapons are all normal. Swords of various shapes, Chinese sword shapes from various dynasties, Western cross swords, guns, knives, single crescent halberds, double crescent halberds, etc. Each weapon is very beautiful and exquisite in shape. There are many lines carved on the weapon and it exudes little golden fluorescence, which is very beautiful. As for the lava demon, it had already been wiped out by this gorgeous firework bombing performance, without even leaving its soul. Wang. Bai Xiao looked at the results of an experiment and nodded with satisfaction. Behind him, the golden vortices dispersed one after another like mirrors with invisible ripples. 
At the same time, thousands of weapons stuck upside down on the ground disappeared along with the golden light spots in the sky. Click. There was a sound of shattering mirrors in the world in front of him, the world shattered, and Bai Xiao returned to the real world. A golden magic circle lit up under his feet, engulfing 740 with brilliant light and shadow, and he disappeared. In a blink of an eye, Kamar Taj, still the same Kamar Taj, arrived in the main hall. The Ancient One, whose appearance and temperament had not changed, was kneeling on the couch in front of the square low table, sipping from Shilin's steaming teacup. Opposite, there is also a teacup. Obviously this teacup is just for Bai Xiao. Bai Xiao was not surprised. He walked straight over, sat down cross-legged, picked up the teacup and took a sip. As for the boiling hot tea for ordinary people, it had no feeling at all for him. You are leaving. Ancient One put down the teacup and looked at the man in front of him with a smile. Although he was questioning, his tone was very sure. Bai Xiao nodded. I have finished learning what I should have learned in two years, and what is left is what I need to do. Two years is such a short time. Although I have thought that your ability will be very good, I still underestimated you. Ancient One's calm face showed a slight change when he said this. It was a kind of admiration and incredible. With her low eyelids, she will read all of Kamar Taja's magic books in just two years. This reading is not just about memorizing the content. But completely understand it. And created and improved by Xiao's own magic system. Many of the ideas amazed even her. For example, she just secretly observed the king's treasure. Gorgeous, gorgeous, powerful. Bai Xiao's lips curved. I'm still grateful for your help, ancient one magician. If you really appreciate me, you should take over the responsibility of Sorcerer Supreme. Ancient One rolled his eyes. Bai Xiao Sai didn't answer this question and asked him to be a tool. It would take a stupid and free person to take on the so-called responsibility of protecting the earth. How tiring it would be. He was a worker in his previous life, and he is still a worker now. Then didn't he travel through time in vain? I believe you have your own plan, why don't you talk about that guy named Strange? It's incredible that you have actually reached that point. Ancient One shook his head. I heard that your disciple pursued darkness and took refuge in Dormammu. Do you want me to kill him? He seemed to dislike me very much before. Bai Xiao changed the subject and talked about Ji Yushi's son. Kaecilius, was originally the most outstanding disciple of the Ancient One. His ability was very high. When he was in his twenties, he surpassed many senior magicians in magic attainments. Silent and hardworking, this is his label. And he doesn't care bi about many people in the outside world, and he is an extremely lonely person. It's just that the arrival of Bai Xiao caused some changes in this man's heart, mainly because of Bai Xiao's special nature. He has the special right to go to the library at will, and even watch the taboo black magic. And Ancient One obviously showed a completely different attitude towards Bai Xiao. This made Caecilius, who considered himself the most outstanding disciple of the Ancient One, very uncomfortable, but he did not show it, and there was no bloody drama about taking the initiative to fire and Bai Xiao using magic battle to win back the heart of the Ancient One. But that kind of strong unhappiness and malice couldn't escape Bai Xiao's super senses. After that, he seemed to have discovered something, and he began to come into contact with black magic, and his personality became gloomy and violent. Finally, he injured the library guard, snatched many books about taboo black magic, and escaped from Kamar Taj. The Ancient One dispatched an even personally to capture Caecilius. As a result, the latter escaped. This can be regarded as the most sensational thing about Kamar Taj in the past two years. However, Ancient One's performance was very mediocre, which puzzled many magicians. After all, the disciples who once had high hopes fell into the embrace of darkness. The Ancient One didn't talk much, and the other magicians thought it was Sorcerer Supreme's inner pain, so they didn't say much. Others don't know, but Bai Xiao still knows very well that originally this is a link in history. Ancient One has discovered this link long ago, and she is just following the established path like a program. The outcome was already decided, she saw through it. So Bai Xiao can also say this in front of Ancient One. He knows that Ancient One will not be angry, at most it will just be teasing. Ancient One was just as he thought, with a very calm expression. He exists only to allow Strange to grow, and hardships often require a stepping stone. 
What a miserable person. He could have changed his destiny, just like you. However, his character is destined to go to extremes and fall into the embrace of darkness. I just hope he won't provoke me, otherwise, I may ruin your plan, ancient one magician. It's okay that Bai Xiao is not interested in Caecilius but the master behind him. If he does this, it will only prove stupidity, and without him, another person will appear and cannot be changed. It was very mysterious, but Bai Xiao understood it. Caecilius is just a black glove, serving Dormammu. If there is a black glove, then Dormammu can naturally change to another one, and it will not affect the established future direction. Well, the ancient one magician called me, not just to say this, right? There is someone who wishes to meet you. See me. Bai Xiao raised his eyebrows. He could sense his own existence and could also send messages through the ancient one. He immediately analyzed the identity of this person, the god king of Asgard. He is an extraordinary person. The power of Odin he possesses allows him to see through the nature of the universe, the deepest side. Asgard, like the earth, is an important part of the changes in the universe. Your appearance has caused a series of chain reactions, which has also affected Asgard and disrupted many of his plans, so he hopes to meet you. 11. Ancient One explained, he is different from me. I have kept an eye on you long enough, but he has not, so, he is very worried. Is this a test for me? No, you don't need anyone to test you. No matter what happens when you meet Odin, he will not do anything detrimental to you. Ancient One said with certainty. Odin is indeed powerful. To some extent, she and Odin Odin maintained a tacit understanding. After all, as a heavenly father of the same level, she might not be able to defeat Odin, but in the latter's current state, facing her, the two of them would most likely die together. Gu, Ding died first, and the latter disappeared into thin air because his body could not bear the growing huge divine power. The earth was originally the domain ruled by Asgard, but Thor and Asgard have been wandering around in other countries and do not come to the earth often, which is because of the Ancient One. The earth is the default territory of the Ancient One, but it is not claimed openly. He was also worried about Odin. There are constraints on both sides. Bai Xiao is Ancient One's most important investment project. How could she let Odin ruin her investment project? Speaking of which, Ancient One also knew that Odin's attitude towards Bai Xiao's appearance would definitely not be extreme. When? Bai Xiao figured this out. In fact, there is no need to think about it in detail. When Ancient One said this, he originally agreed with it. His super senses did not feel the danger nor did he perceive Gu's malice. This means that the meeting will not be dangerous. Don't say Bai Xiao is a coward. Now he can be tougher in front of the Ancient One. It is mainly because of his two years of growth that he has crossed the limit of life levels and has stepped into the sub-heavenly father. Cooperating with him to create a world that is unique to him his magic system can still compete with Ancient One, but this old man Odin is too exaggerated. This old guy is not a heavenly father in the traditional sense at all. The heritage passed down by the Odin family is too terrible. In addition, Odin has lived for at least 50 years and accumulated more than 50 years. He is a pure old monster. Although Odin is about to die, in fact, Odin is at his peak at this time. The main reason for Odin's death is that his body cannot bear the increasing amount of energy. His body strength is quite terrifying, but he has accumulated energy over at least half a million years. It's even more terrifying, so I can't load it. Even if he takes action with all his strength once, he will die on the spot. The entire universe knows this, but no one dares to offend Asgard. This is one of the most important reasons. No one wanted to try and touch the old Odin, it was really a matter of trying or dying. He feels that it is not a problem for Odin to just change to a god group now. After all, this old man was once a ruthless member of the nine gods group. Although he was struck by a blaster and blessed by other factors, at least one of his arms was cut off, and his record was quite scary. Bai Xiao believes that this meeting should be an interview just like Ji Yu. The worst result of the interview may be Odin's warning, but the best result is extraordinary. Asgard, the largest wool producer surpassing Kamar Taj. This is not a waste of time, which makes Bai Xiao feel unhappy. Seeing Bai Xiao's calm face, Ancient One smiled and she knew that this would definitely not scare the child. Odin fell into a deep sleep, and it will be two years before he wakes up again.
When he wakes up, I will notify you you. Okay, it's taken two years for you to master the magic. You don't need to come here anymore. After the explanation, an eviction order was issued on Sunday. Bai Xiao chuckled, without asking, and decisively teleported away. In the past two years, he has been harassing the Ancient One in Kamar Taj. In addition, he has also consumed a lot of the magic weapons in Kamar Taj. It is definitely not for his own use, but to analyze the structure of the magic tools. Otherwise, where did the weapons in his king's treasure come from? This is all due to the presence of these magical instruments. The Ancient One didn't care, but he saw a mouse in his house always stealing rice, and he couldn't stand the amount of rice. Fortunately, the eye of Agamotto was hanging around her neck, otherwise Bai Xiao would have to, play, with it. Return to the manor. It is still the original Swan Manor, but what is different from the original Swan Manor is that compared to two years ago, he personally drew 13 layers of magic wards around the Swan Manor. Concealment, defense, attack, etc. functions overlap. Zero. It's similar to the holy place in New York. Because of the magic barrier, most people will ignore the holy place even if they pass by. The same goes for his Swan Manor. In addition, the second-generation Blackbird fighter jet was also, slightly, modified by him. Mainly since this thing had teleportation magic, it was not very useful, so it was used as a test object for many magic modification experiments. The experiment was successful, and she did not turn into a machine girl. However, many magic circuits were carved on the original shell, and even the fuel tank was modified to give it ultra-high external defense, acceleration and other functions. It originally needed fuel, but now it has a built-in core. The core is a circular magic device. He usually only needs to transfer magic power into it, and the core will automatically store magic power as energy. After flight is started, the magic power will flow through the magic device. The circuit is transformed into a jet of energy. Moreover, the speed is far higher than before, and the invisibility effect is even more exaggerated. It is completely magical invisibility, similar to escaping into the mirror world, unable to see, let alone isolating the real world. The shape of this thing has become a bit larger, and it is an open type flight machine. Although the overall shape is dark, it is similar to the shape of a phoenix, and is somewhat similar to the shiny golden bamana. However, he did not add offensive weapons, and may continue to modify it in the future. This is the biggest thing he has reformed in the past two years. Bai Xiao returned to the manor, and the beautiful maid greeted him and poured him a glass of ice juice. Obviously, Bai Xiao's habits were already known. Sir, what kind of dishes do you want to eat today? Add a Hong Kong-style roast goose, and the rest are arranged according to the day. Okay, I'll notify you right away. The maid left, and Bai Xiao walked to the balcony on the top floor of the manor house with the juice and sat on the chair on the edge of the balcony. There was a new laptop on the table. He casually looked around to see if there was any interesting news. Definitely not news from the news media, but he, browsed, the secrets from S.H.I.E.L.D. through hacking technology. His hacking skills are getting better and better, and he asked the housekeeper to buy and build. 107, in the basement of the manor to install the most advanced servers. The price is not cheap. As for money, it can only be said that the vampire families in other cities have suffered a lot in the past two years. The world's top hacking technology, plus the top servers, is equivalent to him being able to invade any confidential database at will. Definitely the confidential data of S.H.I.E.L.D. was mainly from a former director. Because that idiot former director wanted to make trouble for him, he simply controlled the idiot with his mind. Therefore, there was a biggest insider. It was too easy for him to enter the S.H.I.E.L.D. confidential database through the back door. The outside world seemed calm in the past two years, but in fact, a lot of things happened. For example, a year ago, in 2001, under the promotion of Hydra, S.H.I.E.L.D. contracted a, Far Star project to the company actually controlled by Gideon Malik for implementation. S.H.I.E.L.D. and NASA arranged for four astronauts to join and teleported to the desert planet on the other side through a black stone door for a one-year scientific research survey. Then the four astronauts completely lost contact, and the plan was completely stranded. In fact, except for Bai Xiao, he knew very well what happened afterwards. In fact, there was a top predator, Beehive, 
here, which destroyed this Earth-like planet alive. In the developed civilization on the planet, three astronauts died, leaving only one astronaut, Will, to survive in the desert and deal with the hive. The follow-up is related to the history of Hydra. This is definitely the plot that happened after S.H.I.E.L.D. completely disintegrated and Phil Coulson became the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. In addition, two days after the 9.11 attack, Thaddeus Ross wrote to the U.S. military to launch the Biotechnology Power Enhancement Project, trying to replicate the research results of the Rebirth Project and mass-produce super soldiers to respond to the anti-terrorism situation in the new century. The Hulk is about to be born. Today is 2003, S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy opened in September. Leo Fitz and Gemma Simmons appeared in the Science and Technology Department of S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy. They are the youngest students in the history of the Academy. The two started the competition mode of academic tyrants. S.H.I.E.L.D. also paid great attention to these two talented researchers. Apart from this, there is not much news. Bai Xiao flipped through the pages casually and then closed his laptop. He drank juice while thinking about what he had learned in the past two years. In fact, in his first year at Kamar Taj, he quickly read all the 13,780 books in the entire library, recorded them in his super brain, and then started brain analysis and exploration, from the basic magic knowledge system to the advanced magic system step by step. With the help of Ancient One and Senior Magicians, he had already completed the curve overtaking in the first year. Except for Ancient One, he was the one with the highest knowledge and magic attainments in the entire Kamar Taj. In the second year, he began to explore the magic system of Kamar Taj to create his own magic system. This process is not difficult, on the contrary, it is very simple. The breakthrough from 0 to 1 is the most difficult, while the process from 1 to 2, to 3, and even to 10 is the easiest. The core element of magic is to build a program code with magic power and release magic with a specific code. The biggest reason why Ancient One envied Bai Shao was that Bai Shao solved the two biggest problems that magicians were born with, energy and thinking. Bai Shao was born with a very huge magic power and a super strong brain, which made him learn and memorize magic too quickly. He only needed to transform the process of communicating and absorbing the magic dimension, and transform it so that he could release magic through his own magic power. Dot dot. Not to mention that he was proficient in all the low-level and high-level magic of Kamar Taj. In addition, he also created many moves tailored for himself. Among them, he killed the lava demon and imitated the golden treasure of the king. The biggest problem of the king's treasure is the treasure house. The golden treasure house is the original of human wisdom, that is, the things created by the new humans, realized with completely new concepts, and realized with the civilization technology of other celestial intelligent life forms. It seems very mysterious, but in fact, this is a conceptual thing. To put it bluntly, it is an arsenal. As the human era changes, new weapons will be produced in the arsenal, which can be automatically retrieved and detected, and then new weapons will be constructed. Modern human aircraft and submarines will also be in the Golden Treasure House. He collected all the prototypes of technology produced in his era, took them for himself, and sealed them up. Bai Shao is similar. He uses some space magic and barriers to build a huge dimensional magic space. This huge space is built with his huge magic power and forms a stable dimensional space. Only he can open this space. And through extremely large and complex magic circuits, weapons made of some materials, magic patterns are built on the weapons in a factory assembly line style, commonly known as enchantment. These weapons have become powerful magic tools. These weapons will be nurtured by magic power all the time in the dimensional space, and their power will gradually increase. Then he can open the dimensional space at any time and automatically build a launch form to eject it, similar to the launch process of a rail gun. The maximum launch speed can reach the speed of light, and the destructive power can be imagined. And this thing does not require much magic power from Bai Shao. It mainly consumes a small amount of magic power to open small dimensional teleportation arrays, referred to as the human-shaped floor-washing demon king. This magic took him the most time to create. Definitely also created the original idea, the Yin Seal, which also built a dimensional space between the eyebrows that can store magic power and stabilize the mentality. Store great magic without any loss. On top of this, the Max model is built. 
In high-intensity battles, the dimensional space between the eyebrows is instantly open, transporting and releasing a large amount of compressed magic power, which is bundled into one body and can cause huge destructive impacts or high-speed movement that is difficult to capture with the naked eye. Increase the upper limit of strength in all aspects, ten times or even dozens of times, and there are no side effects. As long as the physical fitness is sufficient and the body strength is sufficient to support it, it may cause muscle tears or bone damage after the battle, but originally the body has super strength self-healing ability, and healing magic, these side effects can be completely ignored. Considered by Bai Shao to be the Dragon Ball version of Kaio Fist. Soul magic contains coercion, similar to the overlord domineering force. Through the spiritual power of the soul, the vigor is released in a specific way, and is instantly released with terrifying oppression, destroying the enemy's mind in an instant, causing shock due to fear, and even causing the death of the enemy. It can even frighten opponents of the same level. It is one of the strongest auxiliary skills. One of the second soul magics, super intuitive sense. Originally possessing super senses, this ability is further enhanced through soul magic. It is similar to the hockey of seeing, hearing, color, and can pre-read the opponent's breath. The range is quite large, and the limit can cover the entire earth. There is definitely predicting the future. This thing is still a passive skill. It does not have to wait until the Heavenly Father to become an active skill. Excalibur, the classic move of the Dumb King. This thing was actually completed two years ago by using the ancient god Sargaras, but it was completely perfected later. The compressed energy is released instantly, creating a high-intensity compressed energy light cannon. The power is related to how much the magic power is compressed. There is no upper limit to the destructive power. It purely depends on how much magic power he delivers. There is no need to have too much strange power. The basic ability he first created is also perfected later. His power can instantly superimpose ten times or even dozens of times of destructive power. Healing magic, Bai Xiao is not very proficient in this magic, mainly because he spent most of the year developing other abilities. But in the future, he will delve into healing magic. If he wants to become a strong man, he must first be a wet nurse. After sorting out his achievements in the past two years, this is also the reason why he has the confidence to challenge Ancient One in Yadianfu. In the duel with Ancient One two months ago, he used endless powerful and powerful skills to defeat Ancient One. Hold it in a lot. The main reason is that many of Bai Xiao's auxiliary abilities are too abnormal, such as super intuitive sense, reading breath, pre-reading what moves Ancient One will do in the next three seconds, strange power in close combat, dozens of times burst max mode, land washing ability, king's treasure, one blow the sure kill s caliber made gu, do fall into a disadvantage. The ancient one is a little squishy person who will die if touched and seriously injured if touched. He can only cast spells remotely from a distance during the whole process. The key point is that no matter what magic ancient one uses, Bai Xiao can predict it three seconds in advance with his intuition. In a battle of this level, if you know what moves to use in advance, the results can be imagined. Fortunately, Ancient One can detect it very quickly. He counterattacked decisively and even used Time Gem to defeat Bai Xiao. Neither side could do anything to the other, and in the end they simply stopped fighting. Bai Xiao muttered in his heart that an old woman was really shameless. He coveted Time Magic more and more in his heart. However, Ancient One took Time Gem too seriously and didn't show it at all. He probably planned to use it as the biggest bargaining chip and bet at the right time. Bai Xiao is not in a hurry. He has too much to improve. Even if time gem is given to him, he will not change his path for a while. Measuring his own combat power, his original life level is at Yadian Father, but with the help of various active and passive skills, his combat power can be raised to level God Father. Ancient One also once commented that with Bai Xiao's current combat power level, he can beat the hell. The great King Mephisto is not a problem. But the time may take a little longer. If it is at the opponent's home court, it will take longer to defeat the opponent. In fact, Bai Xiao is already very satisfied. In three years, he has jumped from an ordinary person to a level god father, so what kind of bicycle does he need? Even if he doesn't make progress now, it will still be a question whether Thanos dares to come to Earth in more than ten years.
Now that two years have reached his expectations, Bai Xiao also plans to take a vacation for himself during this period. The main reason is that the extraordinary creatures on the earth can no longer allow him to continue to grow. Although the number is large, it still cannot make him improve enough. There are only intruders from other dimensions, such as the previous lava demon from hell. For this reason, he has done a lot of work in Kamar Taj. Many magicians, including the Ancient One, praised it. Bai Xiao worked too hard. The stronger the enemy, the more powerful the enemy is. The Ancient One is satisfied with the fact that Bai Xiao has not changed his original intention. He will never show mercy to enemies that invade other worlds on Earth, and will kill them whenever they see them. Tai Hei is in line with her ideals, but she tends to expel her most of the time. Bai Xiao is a bit cruel, but with such a cruel person on Earth 173, she will feel more at ease when she retires, and she even really wants to sorcerer the position of Supreme was passed to Bai Xiao. If Bai Xiao is willing to become the Sorcerer Supreme, she will kindly call Bai Xiao the best Sorcerer Supreme in history. It's a pity that Bai Xiao doesn't follow this approach at all. He gets the benefits and puts aside the responsibilities. Focus on flexible movement. Ancient One was still a little worried about this, but fortunately she had an alternative strange, otherwise she would have had a headache. Two years have compressed him too much, and his body and mind will inevitably feel a little tired. Now Bai Xiao has decided to take a good rest. Now he is almost 20 years old, and he is in the golden age of running free and unrestrained. He didn't plan to stay in the manor all the time. He considered traveling around the earth. In his previous life, he had never been abroad. In this life, he often ignored many scenery in order to become stronger. Now that we have the conditions and the time, we can make up for these things. So Bai Xiao immediately contacted Seve the housekeeper, and asked her to buy him a luxury RV for a trip across the United States. What is the meaning of travel? It is to travel thousands of miles and see scenery all over the world that you cannot see by yourself. If Bai Xiao wants, he can find a place with a beautiful environment anytime and anywhere and activate the teleportation magic, truly traveling thousands of miles in one step. It's just that Bai Xiao doesn't need to be so anxious. He prefers to drive around and see all kinds of people and things. He also likes to encounter endless accidents. Even if he may meet some people who make him feel disgusted, it is still an unexpected surprise for him. It was a happy end to my slightly tired and boring daily life. The housekeeper was very efficient and ordered a RV on the same day. Unicat Off-Road RV is a super tough guy among RVs, with ultra-high ground clearance and specially adjusted chassis. 6x6 chassis modification, the length of the carriage part is 5.6 meters, the carriage part is made of fiberglass composite sandwich panels, the floor is composed of composite materials and an integrated steel frame connected to the man chassis through a three-point movement mounting system. The total length of this car is 8.16 meters, the wheelbase of the six wheels are 4 meters and 1.4 meters respectively, and the engine has a maximum power of 532 horsepower. In addition, the car is equipped with a power supply network, a refrigerator, a sofa, a folding table and chairs, a separate bathroom, a shower system, a heating system, a sink, a military first aid kit, solar panels and a military communication system connected to satellites, definitely also equipped with a 380 liter clean water tank. It focuses on luxury and extravagance, with a price of half a million US dollars. It is a proper luxury car in this era. Definitely Bai Xiao did not modify this car, otherwise he could have completely changed the power system from physical science to magic. I drove without anyone else, and my first destination was Big Bear Mountain, Big Bear Mountain State Park, which is only an hour's drive from New York City. The best time to visit is in autumn, when the endless scarlet and golden colors complement each other, and the photo heartbreaking. But as soon as I left New York, a troublesome guy came to my door. On a few kilometers of highway in New York, the scenery on both sides was quite good. Bai Xiao was driving leisurely, but he saw a group of figures almost monopolizing the highway 1,000 meters ahead of the highway. At the moment there were many vehicles driving on the road, but when they encountered such a group of people, all the vehicles stopped and cursed at the people blocking the road. Fake squid, you fools, get out of the way for me, you real country bumpkins. Are you cosplaying, you fools? 
Hurry up and make way for me, or I'll kill you all with one shot. I saw the group of people in front of me wearing crude clothes, like linen clothes in the ancient Middle Ages. Their eyeballs were dark, as if they were burnt, and their whole bodies exuded a gloomy aura. Facing the endless abuse, this group of people did nothing impressed, just when the grumpy old man was about to draw his gun, Bai Xiao drove to a stop only a few dozen meters away, opened the door and walked out. He raised his hand gently and made a, click, sound. The world in front of him did not change, but it was no longer the real world. But people who were still driving on the highway in the real world continued to drive as if nothing had happened. John Shaw. The leading man was relatively young, probably around 30 years old, with a height of 1.8 meters. His eyes in the dark sockets were staring directly at Bai Xiao, who was only a few dozen meters away. Caecilius. Bai Xiao read out the name very calmly, then glanced at the dozen magicians with the same look as him beside him, and shook his head, should I admire your ability. You have seduced so many people in such a short time. Many magicians joined Dormammu. The master is unimaginably great, Xiao, you think she is the most outstanding magician in history. I think you should know how vast and vast this world is. Our self-light should not be placed in front of our eyes. Caecilius looked at the young and handsome Asian man in front of him calmly. There was just a hint of malice and jealousy in his eyes. I'm not interested in your invitation. You shouldn't disturb my self-driving trip. Get out of here now, otherwise. As he finished speaking, he saw a bright golden color suddenly appear behind Bai Xiao, with dense ripples and a golden vortex like a mirror emerging. Thousands of weapons exuding a terrifying aura slowly floated out from it, and as those weapons floating little by little, the strong dangerous aura increases by one level. Under the illumination of thousands of golden whirlpools Bai Xiao stood like a god. He stared mercilessly at the weak magicians in front of him. The magicians behind Caecilius froze, cold sweat broke out on their foreheads, and their cold expressions turned dull, just staring blankly at the scene in front of them. Caecilius remained expressionless, as if he didn't care at all about the scene in front of him. In fact, he was also a little confused. In his memory, Bai Xiao was a person just like him. He was addicted to Haihan's ocean of magical knowledge and greedily asked for all magical knowledge. However, Bai Xiao was valued more by his teacher, Ancient One, and even you can freely browse the taboo black magic that even he cannot watch. He knows that Bai Xiao is very good and has told him many times. But Caecilius never thought that he would be weaker than this Asian brat, especially when he accidentally saw the truth and knew that in another dark dimension, Zhao's there was someone stronger than the Ancient One. A more powerful god exists. He decisively betrayed Kamar Taj fell into the embrace of darkness, and absorbed the power of darkness, making him more powerful and terrifying than before. For the mission of his master Dormammu, Caecilius found Bai Xiao, who once made him jealous, and there were some reasons for this. If he succeeds in pulling the best magician in Ancient One's mouth into the embrace of darkness, it will cause a greater blow to Ancient One. This is his revenge. If he fails, then he will kill Bai Xiao without mercy, and the same can be done. To take revenge on Ancient One, and at the same time prove to Ancient One that he is the most outstanding disciple. He thought about all the possibilities, but he never thought about the current development. What's happening here? What kind of magic did the Asian kid use? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.